Hi chat. How's it going? Uh, last night we talked about maybe doing um, faith and then doing one of these uh, one of these sponsorships. But I think um, we're gonna do it the other way around. This just makes more sense. Right. Um, it just makes more sense this way. Hey, Venom, thanks for 19 months. Mike is fucked up. The mic is messed up. Um, good way or bad way? What? Bad way. Oh boy. You got, you got echoes. You sound like you're in a huge room. You sound like you're talking through a Nintendo DS. Okay. All right, just give me give me a second, guys. I'm back. How do I sound now, guys? Perfect. Mm -hmm. I bet he changed nothing. Uh-huh. How are you feeling after yesterday? My, um... Body hurts a lot. I was in a lot, a lot of pain. Um... Actually. Hey, uh, Pleco, thanks for the bits, man. Back to normal, but quiet. Quiet? Uh, is that just that one guy or okay one guy yeah okay no the game the game is not plan nine the game's called from space um you could move your mic a bit closer all right hold on how's this that's good Ulrich, hey, bud. He said, Mike, I thought you should know that while I was out last night with my friends, uh, I showed them your stream while you were drumming as Miku, and they said, maybe I will start watching this jabroni Mike guy. I thought you sh should know. Ulrich insinuating that he has friends is very comical. Very funny. 
Uh, thanks for the uh, hype train there, guys. I, th I think it's a hype train. I, I don't know what I don't know what's happening. Thank you. Ulrich has friends. That's funny. Uh, I recommend the electrician dude because his electric gun shred shreds and Ke Kev bomb. Hey, he said he worked on the game. All right. Um, I don't know anything about it. They are paying me to play it. Um, for an hour, I'm gonna do an. Actually, uh, the contract is an hour of this game, and then I have to do an hour of the of the game like another night. They want they want two streams, so they they want they want two hours, but not back to back. You might remember me talking about this. Um, Cthulhu, thanks for five months. My, why aren't you streaming from space? It's not very funny. Hi, my friend Ulrich told me about you last night. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I started a game to see if it was going to be cool or whatever. I didn't, I barely, I didn't play. I walked around for two seconds. Uh, let's create another new game so you guys can see the, um, you know, the stuff. The plot. Right, it says 1986. Uh, a massive crystal meteor hit Earth. That's the same year that Faith takes place, actually. Man, if only that happened. And the alien invaders followed in its wake. Mm -hmm. Listen to this music. The invaders destroyed everything in their path, including your mom. Mm's veg. Perky Agnostic, thanks for two years to claim the crystals for their own. You are humanity's last hope. Humanity's screwed. Miked it for humanity. Did you change your hair? Nope. When's the next drum stream? Actually, I do have an announcement to make, but I, yeah, I, I have to, I have to play this game for a little bit, guys. But I just. Remind me that I'm supposed to make an announcement somewhat, um, somewhat soon. Okay. Um, so, yeah, right, there's a person in chat, the dev in chat, they said to use the electrician, but let's see what the other ones are. You got flame trooper. Um, looks like he's got, a, he's got a flamethrower. Um, you got a, a, a goalkeeper. He's, he's got a gun. It's not really a... You know, sports themes thing. Uh, and then you got lab assistant. And he's... He's... He's shoot... He's what? He's shooting syringes? What is it? He, Olaf was working on an experimental uh, w weapons team where he was the designated guinea pig for weapons testing. When the aliens broke up his team... Olaf was left with two things, an experimental weapon and a drive to deliver payback upon the pig hordes. Um, the announcement is not that I got kicked out of Red Vox, even though after the way I played drums yesterday, that would be totally understandable from every perspective. Uh, Notorious WIG, thank you for uh, 20 months, bud. Appreciate it, man. You were good. Oh, I, I listened to it. It was embarrassing. Uh, Shadow Sniper. Ziva Lucky Frost has been dealing with people underestimating her for a long time. But now nobody denies she's the best mankind has to offer in terms of sheer accuracy. She's like a sniper wolf type of a thing, you know? Uh, and then you got the electrician. He volunteered his inventions in time to the defense to the defense of earth just so he could get away from his wife wife bed hashtag wife bed um and then you got the combat engineer he just wanted to get away from his wife kami gusama with 44 months thanks buddy 
Earning the Dependency Ribbon and the Army Construction Medallion, Adam Bulwark knows that things break down all the time. And especially during an intergalactic time of war, Adam is here to fix the world. Ain't fixing this world, dude. Alright, um, we'll, we'll try the electricity because that guy, because that guy said to. Uh, he's got a, <clears throat> that looks like the, the Gmod gun, like the manipulator from Gmod, right? Uh, maybe it's a, maybe it's a gamer reference, right? Uh, Mike, that's the penis grabber 2000. Like Nathan, like the Nathan for you. Well, he was just the, the robot was ripping his pants off, right? It's got perks. I can't really, I can't see what they are. So I don't, oh, yes, I can. Just kidding. Uh, barbed wires placed by the electrician deal electrical damage. He's got a quick r revive. He's got a defib. Clear. I hope he screams clear every time. He uses it to get teammates back into the fight. Uh, shield pad crafter. He crafts a shield pad after gathering a certain amount of experience points. Or the Tesla coil crafter. He crafts a Tesla coil after gathering a certain amount of points. Which discharges its enemy, its energy onto an enemy that comes too close. Or, and the shield pad instantly starts shield regeneration of any specialist who walks onto this pad. Cool. And here he is, right? It's got a pretty cute graphically as you were a specialist here's what we know our satellites picked up an alien signal from inside the river city power plant it matches that of an energy harvester we need you to take it out like the guy from the hydraulic press channel imagine him as the guy from the hydraulic press channel report to sergeant paxton if you need more preparation happy hunting specialist hold on i have to move this cable it's really annoying me We must deal with it. That's what he says. My bad. Uh, oh, you can change the... Okay. No, let's let's try this guy for now. So it's got this isometric thing. Oh, this is to invite friends, which, by the way, they gave me four keys for this game. Which I can then go ahead and, um, I guess, do whatever I want with. I, I, this seems like a, like a, a multiplayer experience play it with other jerk-offs who wants does anybody here want to be one of the other jerk-offs that i play with who's into it let me like let me play the game first uh specialist it's good to see someone competent he's <laughs> thinks i'm competent that's hilarious yeah this is the steam version there's also a switch version if i'm not mistaken in fact, I have a talking point, so I'm going to tell you everything you could possibly need to know about this. Oh, it's tutorial. Ammo type full. Shoot the targets. Weapons in the locker. Okay. Oh, I don't have I don't have any weapons. All right. I'm going to get weapons, I guess. All right. Boop. Okay. I think it's very slick looking. I like the... The kind of the particle effects or whatever. Just the, the way that everything looks. Like... The kind of the, the, the fog and the lighting and the light shafts and everything. I like it. I like the way it looks. So there's cover. All right, you see what's going on here. Impressive marksmanship. Those dummies didn't stand a chance. Follow me to the grenade range. The grenade range. Can I have more of that? Yeah, give me that shit. It's it's smooth looking. I don't know. It's that's the that's the word. It's smooth and round is how what's the deal with this game i don't know i'm playing the tutorial right now i don't know what the deal with it is we're gonna find out guys show me what you got uh hold f to target okay and release to throw that bounced out whoops uh let's try that guy over there Oh, he got caught in the blast radius of that? Or was that, like, splash damage? So, like, the first one actually did damage that thing, but then the second one somehow splash damaged him through a wall. Mike, what's the deal with airline food? Very funny. Mike, you still finding blue hairs from your balls? There was one blue hair all the way up my pee hole, and I had to pull it out, like, very slowly and painstakingly. It was... Not cool, guys. That wig is one of the worst things I've ever had to deal with in my life. Combat simulation. Let's hubble. Hub, hubble. Double time. 
I passed the simulation with flying colored. Okay, Raiden, chill out. Barbed wire. Oh, it's, it's okay. Hold to target and release to place. But I can walk through it, but the Alameos can't, is what I'm getting out of this, right? Do you want me to do anything else? Place the barbed wire between the sandbags. All right, so apparently there's sandbags somewhere. I don't see the sandbags. Maybe the sandbags be out here? Is he a... I mean... No, these, these are sandbags. All right, so what's he talking about, man? Let's just leave. Mike, if you place barbed wire IRL, it's safe to walk through. Place the bo oh, it's it's still it's still like trying to make me do it. Did the Miku costume also include a blue market? Yeah, I guess you weren't here when we we went over that. Oh, there was like a little sliver that wasn't covered, I guess. Melee. Okay. It's been an honor watching you work. Hartman wants you to check in on the radio. It's in the save zone up ahead. Okay. We'll call him Fartman as a joke. You wonder? I wonder if he's got a sense of humor about it. You can save your progress when interacting with the radio. Yep, cool. We read you loud and clear, specialist. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Switch special. No, we're not going to do that. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's, let's play the game. Let's find out what's going on. Finally. Mike, in real life, yeah, if you put down barbed wire, it's safe for you to walk through, provided that you're the one who placed it down. I like how Mike didn't feel like moving his drums, so they're going to be a mild inconvenience getting to and from his chair for months until he decides to move them. It's not an inconvenience. I can get it in and out of here fine. Like, there's room to the to the right of me. It's, it's okay. But that would be on brand. If that was the case, that, that would be on brand. Yeah, that would absolutely be on brand. 100%. Dang, that was a big crash. You're you all in one piece? It's mighty fine seeing a friendly face from, fall from the sky for a change. Even if you did mess up my lawn. Fuck lawns. What's that now? You need to go to the PowerPoint. That ain't gonna be easy. The only way is through them sewers. Know what? Look for Billy Bob. He Billy B Bob Bobby. Bobby. I reckon he might help you out. Here's the key to my gate. Make sure to lock it behind you, Teehee. Bobby. Okay. Um. So, is this... There's a dash. Oh, there's a dash. Alright, cool. There's Lameos right there. Dumb. They're... They're a little saucy? Close encounter of the worst kind. It's gonna show you all the different types of aliens that... You gotta deal with. There's a cooldown on the... On the melee attack, it looks like. Okay. Alright, alright. Pink Gumby. Yeah. There was a game like this... That me and Gamby used to play on the, um... Shit, I want... Wait, the melee attack is doing more damage than the bullets then? I want to say it was on Xbox. It was... It, it was exactly this with zombies. No, it was, it was a zombie survival thing. And it was pretty legit, actually. Does anybody... It, the, I think the graphics for this game are, are actually, like, really, really... It's just really pleasing to look at this game. Um, Minecraft. It wasn't, it wasn't Minecraft, man. Dead Nation? No, it was, 
Zombies ate... Was Zombies ate my neighbors? No, it wasn't Zombies ate my neighbors. It was a really, really solid isometric, like, zombie, like, like, horde thing. It's... The, the, my, the game is called Zombies Ate My Asshole. In the good way. Oh my god. Dude. The melee attack is one-shotting these things. Why would I use any ammo on these things? Zombies ate my asshole. <laughs> That's so good. What if zombies were like, instead of craving brains all the time, it was all about S. Like, they were crawling around like, S, S. Like, what if George Romero had made zombies crave S instead? Would it be like a very different genre of, of horror, right? Like, ass zombies. Like, they just crave S. Like, they crave bussy. Like, they need Bussy to survive, you know? Makes them feel good. Well, yeah, what if it was just ass instead of brains? I bet you, like, more people would, would enjoy the genre. That, you know what? Honestly, zombies need a fresh take. What if we... Yeah, like, what if we just do that? Fresh take. Sorry, sweetie. I don't talk to everyone. Find Billy Bob. If he says you're good people, we'll chat. I need Billy Bob's validation. It's gonna be a cold day in hell before I have to get validation from somebody named Billy Bob. I don't know what that is, but I picked it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna conserve all my ammo because these these little little fuckers just die in one hit anyway. Howdy, stranger. You look like you know what you're doing. You need to go to town print. Sorry, but no can do. We gotta close the gate. Literally call them down and down there. What that? You going down and blow up down there and in the back? Look, you can scrap my back, I'll scrap your dick. Help out some of the people in need. I'm sure that we can end the implant in the interval. Man, they give us a chance. Scratch my dick, I'll scratch your dick. You scratch my dick, I scratch your dick. That's how it works. What is this? No power. All right, I'm loving these beacons that just show me exactly where the fuck to go because I have listening and reading comprehension issues. So like when I when I see that, I get very very excited in in a game. Oh, I didn't pause the game. Zombies of broke back. I was trying to look at chat. Hand holding. I'll tell you what, I love getting my hand held. I'm a simple man. I love that 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 feeling of intimacy when a game holds my hand. Makes me feel so good. Makes me feel loved. Makes me feel appreciated. You know what I'm saying? While we're on the topic, what about cumpires? We talked about cumpires the other night. I don't think they're practical. Did I say uh, thank you to Torgo's pants for the three months? Thank you to Torgo's pants for the three months. Uh, cumpires are they're just impractical. Is the game you're thinking of cartoony like this? No, it wasn't. But, you know what, it was an inter- if I remember correctly, it wasn't like hyper-realistic either. Like, it was- it was like somewhere in the middle that it was like really nice. I can't remember the name of this game. But it was just- it was very similar to this. How to survive? No, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. It was, uh, he had- he-, he he had an Xbox, yeah. We were playing it on Xbox. I think it was probably like Xbox 360 at the time. I got a shotgun. Hold on. Can I use it? Ammo type full. Okay. We're gonna try out the shotgun. 
It was like around the time Call of I'm gonna say it was around the time Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, I I want to say two came out because we were playing a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops. Hey, Lumpy, zombies must must die. I I I don't. May, maybe, maybe. I just don't. If I saw pictures of the game, I might remember it. But I can't pause this and, and, and Google it because the game doesn't allow me to pause, so. Dude, look at that highly detailed fucking Splatoon ink on the floor, dude. Look at that. That's awesome. It's bump mapped like the, the death loop mayonnaise. You see that? Alien pulp. Guys, did you see what the environmentalists are doing in the UK with like the... Like they're walking around with like... Dude, it, it's like they have like... They, they have fucking... Like splatter shot pros. And shit. And are like pay, pay, spraying like orange fucking ink all over everything. <laughs> You haven't, you guys haven't seen this? It's incredible. So like, they have like, you know what it, it, okay, it looks like, what's, what's the weapon in Splatoon where you have like the big thing on your back and it's like a chain gun? Wh which one is that? It, it's in, sa it's in the salmon run rotation, not the Hydra. They have like Hydra splatlings and they're walking around London and they're just spraying like, like orange paint all over everything and people keep like syncing it up to the Splatoon music on Twitter and it's fucking amazing. Like it, it it's like this this like 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 fat middle-aged like balding British guy and he he's just like walking down the street spraying the orange paint all over a bank and the music is like Like, it's just so fucking good. <laughs> it's so fucking good. It's so good. Hey. Them dang monsters are between me and my special brew. I need me some Dutch courage. Ain't no fighting no darn aliens without it. Post the link. I don't, I, I don't know where, I don't know where, where I saw it. Yeah, they're environmental. They're like, you know, stop oil and all that, which best, if you ask me. But, you know, whatever. That's just my opinion. I'm actually not allowed to t talk about anything political during the stream that's in the contract, so... I'm gonna just leave it at that. Even though I just really consider that political, but it is. That's life. Um... Hey, I of Duality. Mike, just tuning in uh, for the night. Want to let you know when I first turned on the stream, the audio sounded like it was being farted out of a hooker's anal cavity. Rather than go into chat screeching like a banshee in heat, I did something radical. I rebooted my damn PC. Now it sounds fine. The rest of the chat could learn a lesson from this. No, because um, I, 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 was, I was using a different microphone. Uh, sleepy boy, hey, thanks for 13 months. You didn't have to reset your computer. Um. I should still be meleeing them, huh? You were using the headset? No, no, no. I I bought a new mic. I bought a new microphone. I went I went to that store that Pun Star was talking about, and I bought a new microphone. Um, glad to see it was a waste of time and money. I guess I'll return it. I also spent like three hours audio balancing it today. So, guy, I gotta say it was super duper duper disappointing when you guys told me it sounded bad. Like that, that like broke my fucking heart to be honest with you guys, because I spent so much so much time on this. But that's life, I guess. Like that fu fucking a actually, actually fucking made me want to die when you guys said that. I sure hope you guys weren't exaggerating or, or, or whatever. It really did sound that bad. 
And instead of having a fuck, because I have to, I have to stream this game. So instead of having a, like an hour long, like let, let's let's do let, let's do tech tech issues for an hour. I decided like I'm just gonna put the headset back on and we'll just we'll just stream as as normal. Well, just because that way we could just like get on with it. Because I don't, I'm not in the mood for like a, a fucking tech issues with chat stream tonight. What's this? De destroy the nest. Okay. And again, the real the real tragedy of it is that this is all simply because. This fucking cable won't work the way it's supposed to. Ooh, what's this? It's not our fault you got ripped off. What a simplistic way to think about that. I wonder what this is. Is this the brew? Oh, this is the brew. Okay. Hey, bud. Here you go. You sure you want to be drinking right now? Actually, this is the perfect time to drink. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You actually did it. Drinking nothing but water made them aliens look real ugly-like. Now I get drunk enough so I can get an erection. Stick my dick in them. <laughs> yuck, yuck. He needed the beer goggles to... To, to, to fuck the aliens, guys. Now they're sexy! Okay, so... Uh... We gotta still help Caroline. Ca okay, so... What the... Uh, uh, hmm. Alright, we, we got the marker. Let's go towards the marker. He's got an alien chained up in his basement. He forces it to eat his ass. Every Why am I saying this? It's fucking really... It's really messed up, dude. Help a poor, poor, poor girl out. The varmints laid their filthy eggs. Get rid of the eggs. I did. I did it already. Here we go. You got rid of the eggs. How did my veggies look? Oh, that bad. Well, a promise is a promise. Like, you know, was it... What you heard earlier, like, was it different or was it bad like different and bad like yeah no no microphone is gonna sound exactly like this one you understand that right like genuinely the like the headset i was using yesterday for the drum stream that's the that's the audio technica and and that that one you know like it has its utilities i guess like i feel like the reason i was wearing it during that stream is because i felt like it was picking up like the sound of the, you know, the bleed. It was, it was less bleed in that microphone. That's why I was using that. But like the audio quality, I, I hate the audio quality for my voice overall. But during a drum stream, I'm probably going to use that again because it has, it, it picks up way less bleed, which is important during that because if I do that again, and again, I, I listened to the, again, that stream, the sound of me hitting those pads is like everywhere, dude. You know? But when I went to B&H, I ended up buying a lapel microphone. Why? Because it's like a headset in that it it, it kind of it's like attached to my body. It's not moving with my head, but it's, you know, it was it was right here. Like I had it right here. I had it right here. Hey, Magical Boy. He said, Mike, lapels suck for streaming. Why are you saying that? What, what's, what's your experience? You have experience with it? The noise gating on the headphone was out of control. I, I listened to it. I heard that too, where like half of my sentences were getting cut off. The issue with that was I had to do that gating to stop the bleed. It still also didn't work 100%. Amazingly, it's there was still bleed even though I did that. And then on top of that, it was like 
the microphone kept moving because that that wig was making the microphone slip around my head it was making the headset slip around so the microphone wasn't staying in front of my mouth which was making it even more difficult for me to actually not get my 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 voice gated you had an audio technical lapel magical what made you want to use a lapel is it for the reasons that I that I wanted to try it Guys, I can return it if, if it's like a waste of time, but I really want to try to make it work. I have a little buddy now. Is he going to come with me? Oh, frogs. He's chewing on all that on that thing. A giant leap at your face. I have not tried a lapel for streaming. I don't know why they wouldn't work. Well, I mean, you know. You know, Magical Boy's got the one anecdote. From the one. The one experience, which is not going to be everybody's experience. I could tell you. Do you want- do you want to see the microphone? Do you- do you want me to- do you want me to show it to you? Let me kill these things first. Why would they suck for streaming? Spe why would they suck specifically for streaming? No idea. No- no- no idea why, you know. Maybe because they're not, like, here. Like, I guess you want the microphone here? I had the microphone here. I, I know what you're saying. Like, well, how much of a difference is that going to make? Apparently a big difference. Um, maybe the wireless sucked. I... I'm not using a wireless one. I'm, I'm using one that has a, a it's, it's cabled. I think there is a wireless option for this thing, but you know, you know, I hate everything wireless. Ooh, man. Can't mess around with these things. A bullet with one gun. <laughs> A gun with one bullet. Oh, you could bust open these little these legs. Let's do that. I like the colors in this game a lot. Like the the pink lameos is 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 juicy. They look like they're bubble gum flavored, right? You want to break the crystals? Oh, hey, thanks. Uh, thanks, Kev. I'm just going to smack these. these crit okay, now. I feel like that should have killed me. Punch the car till it explodes. Okay. I want to break those eggs. I wonder if I can break those eggs. Let me try something stupid. <laughs> yeah. Chuck the grenade up there. Okay. Area infest infested. <clears throat> Don't open infested inside. Oh no, that do that does damage you. No, that do <laughs> does. It does damage you. Yeah. Oh, so does that. Wow. That was like fucking channeling Otacon sister for a second there.
Shaley, he, he says that lapel mics are basically only good for situations where you need to hide the microphone or you're expected to move a lot. Or they're perfect for a situation where you want to be relaxed. Right? They're perfect for a situation where you don't want to be hunched in front of a a, 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 a a fucking standing mic for extended periods of time. You know what I mean? What's attractive to me about the headset is what was what was attractive to me about this this, this lapel microphone that apparently sounds sounds terrible. Sounds like it came from a hooker's asshole. According to that one chat member. That killed me? I g <laughs> okay. Well, I, we learned something. Lapel clips are very strong. Um, I, I think you guys aren't understanding the... Whoa, I'm starting all the way back here, guys? Whoa, holy shit, really? Damn. The reason I don't like boom, boom stands, uh, Magical Boy, or the shotgun mics, is that they're constantly in my way. Like, they're gonna be in my- I've- I've- I've been streaming for eight years, buddy. They're in your face, so, like, I'm- can't see the screen, because there's a microphone there. Or, if it's on the table, there's now a microphone between me and the keyboard. There's a microphone, like, between me and the monitor. There's a microphone hanging over one of my monitors there's they're in my way and if i move out of the way the, the the audio quality changes completely it changes completely like no matter where you're at you know you know what i'm saying so if i want to lean back audio quality change if i want to lean forward audio quality change if I move this way, it changes. If I if I move this way, it, it 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 changes. Right? Like when you're sitting here and you're doing a stream for for seven or eight hours at a time, you need to be comfortable. You 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 can't sit hunched in one like like like. The, all I gotta tell you is go look at Rev stream. And look at him in fucking full goblin position, like, if trying to make that mic audio consistent. Like, I pray for his back, guys. If I did that during my fuck- during my six- if during a six-hour stream, at the end of a seven-hour stream, I'd be in a wheelchair by the end of the week, guys. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I can't believe we kind of got to do all that again. That's rough, man. It seems to be that the game uh, doesn't have uh, auto auto save, so I was meant to like save on my own if I didn't want to do all this again, right? I know, like, uh, guys, I, I'm, I, know, I know you're all really exhausted with the, the audio shit, and, and, and believe me, guys, so am I. Like, like trust me. Um, it's just such a tragedy that this setup doesn't work because of the, the, the cables dying over and over. I think that, that, that to me, is the most, I, I think, ideal solution, is that we just find a way to replace this cable, I think. Yeah, you have to shoot them like five times a pop to kill one of these things, but you could just walk up to it and smack it really hard.
No, this pistol makes very short work of them. That's cool. I'm a sucker for these synthesizers, man. I also never tried to use any of these, um... Any of these specials. Like, I have that shield and shit. Never tried to use it. Hey, Zachary, what's up, bud? I hope you're having a good night, man. They're so pink. The guy from Broforce did the music. Hey, Kev... Bro force. Why do I why do I know that? Why do I know that? Bro, why is that familiar to me, Bro force? I got to talk to Billy Bob before I could talk to him. Yeah, so basically what I'm learning is like you you've, you've got to really not ignore the the little save icons. Holy shit. Sorry, you guys gotta watch everything twice. My bad. Yeah, I think the music rules. Frankly. I leveled up. I got a new item slut. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Did you ask if the toads can blow themselves? Yeah, no. No, but but I should. Oh, whoops. Power on. Oh gosh, what did I do? So how do uh so how do I I, I save the game? Oh here we go. Okay, there, there there you go. So we come back here later and and, and save maybe, right? Hello, Ruby Prism. Thanks for being here. All right, so again, this guy needs the booze. And the other person needs uh, me to destroy all the eggs, which I, which I did do preemptively. We're still in like, you know, the tutorial basically. I'm here for the booze, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, no. All right, he'll get his booze in a minute. Gosh, the pistol is very impressive. The game looks like it would be fun multiplayer. I think so. Yeah, I got yeah, I got three more keys. Bet you Rev would would like this. Do you think Rev would like this? A monkey's uncle. What a terrible phrase that is. I'll be a monkey's uncle. Sounds like something Jane Goodall would say. As in, like, she's gonna marry an ape who has... Who has, uh, siblings, you know? Or... Marry an ape who has children, right? I said that wrong. She's... It's like J something Jane Goodall would, would say if she's gonna marry an ape that has children. I'll be a monkey's uncle. I do. All right, she's over here, this woman. I wonder where the marker is trying to take. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Yep. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that... I'm, I'm not allowed to have that. Uh, when we go back here to talk to Billy Bob that we saved the game, huh, guys? 
plus two until you explained the joke. <laughs> yeah. Remember in the early 2000s when that 60 Minutes episode came out confirming her 14 year relationship with those two chimpanzees? Hey, Dingus. I love you. We don't have the manpower to fight the Lameos. How about you and me team up right? Dingus, thank you so much for reminding me of that that 60 Minutes episode. Yeah, that was fucked up. She's a freak. She's such a freak, dude. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Uh, oh, but the, ga the game is saved. We're gonna, we're gonna, like, triple save it this time, guys. Stop spreading misinformation. It's fucked up. I don't know what to believe anymore. Welcome to 2022, son. I don't know how she remained satisfied for that long. Well, it was two different chimps who kept her, you know. Guys, this is fucked up. What have I done? Yeah, get stuck on that wall. I don't know what to believe anymore. me when I purposefully spread misinformation on the internet. Hey, fucker. You guys might not know this, but... The video game the title, uh, Ape Sex Legends, was actually ba uh, a biography of, of Jane Goodall's life. So stupid. Alright, maybe we don't need to destroy all the, the eggs, I guess. Oh, I never got that shotgun, did I? That's alright. I think this pistol is a, is a better weapon. Like, significantly better weapon. Generally, as long as your room doesn't have a lot of background noise, a condenser mic placed behind your monitor works if you have compression set 4 to 1 and threshold at minus 25. Okay, so let me ask you a question. I'm like a good at least two feet from the monitor right now. You're an audio nut. Okay, so you're so you're 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 telling me that it's possible to have consistent audio with one microphone placed abo above my monitor where it's not blocking a monitor. It's not in my fucking way. It's not in my face. It's not annoying me. And it's going to sound consistent if I move around. You'll sound identical if you're within four feet of it. You promise? Like you fucking promise? You promise? That's bullshit. I think that's bu I think that's bullshit. I think that's bullshit. I think that's bullshit. Don't forget your skill in the bottom left. Oh, those aren't my skills. Those are items that I can use, right? Get a shirt, Mike, so we can hear the hair on your man tits. Well, that's how the stream started tonight. This guy was supposed to come with me, but he never did. 
Right, he just he just never did. It depends on how high gain the mic is. Do you have? Hey, do, do you have a brand that you that you like? Like, you have a? Do you have an example of this where like you you you've you've experienced this identical within four feet of the microphone? This is real. Wrong guy. Thanks for eight months. All right. So then you want to move. I I learned right. There you go. Okay. Survive the drop pod event. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Good thing I went and got the fellow. Mike, that thing could pleasure a macro falco. Oh, I like the music a lot, man. Did we do it? Oh, shit, we did it. Okay. What's this? Bring Billy Bob to the gate. Hey, clown, thanks for 18 months, man. Love you too, buddy. Appreciate it. Inventory for... Oh, because we weren't using... that. That's barbed wire, right? Open the gate, Billy Bob, please. I use the blue, a blue spark mic. Ch uh, Chaley, would would you be willing to send me an email ab about this? Cause this is I get because again it's just hard for me to like remember what 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 you're what you're saying like you know use a workbench to upgrade your weapons and perks the workbenches can be found everywhere especially in safe zones okay yeah let's let's upgrade some shit um upgrade enhanced okay yeah the the pistol is the one that which was the one that was okay we want the revolver upgraded that was the one that was cool. Can you do it again? I guess you can only upgrade like one thing at a time. Also, they're using the same ammo, so I think to upgrade both of these would be a little stupid, right? No point, no point to do that. Identi sounding identical up to four feet just, just sounds... Uh, Fucking like a lie. Like I would, I would love if that were if that were true. That'd be cool. Wait a minute. Should I have left here yet? Oh shit! I blew it. It sounds too good to be true, man. They really want me to invite friends, but I don't have any friends, guys. There's another gun up there. There's a perk tab at the workbench. Was there? It's a little too late. Yeah, I mean, be the see. The, I went to that store, Punstar, and the only headset basically they were selling that was anything remotely like. What I'm using right now is the Audio Technica that I was using yesterday. Like that's actually what th what they had there. They were like, "This is what we have." I'm like, "Oh, well. cause I kind of came here for no reason." And I was explaining, um, you know, what the situation was, and he said, "Well, we have lapel mics." I was like, "Look, here's the deal. I." I want to be able to 
sit comfortably in a chair and like move around when I feel like I need to move. I, I fidget a lot. So I can't stay in one space. Also, I'm old and my back is destroyed. So I, I can't I can't fucking be like shrimping in one position for eight hours. And then I remembered that Kit Bolga has been using a lapel mic for years. And I don't think anybody has a problem with, with, with Kit Boga's audio, right? Like, I think Kit Boga's doing great. Right? Pawnstar said who? Helping out people lo lowers, lower, uh, lowers alien influence. I got stuck out here collecting waste samples. Kit Boga's audio sucks. 90% of the time, he's pretending to be a geriatric on a landline. That that did occur to me. Mike is a geriatric on a landline. Looks like I'm being electrocuted or something. Dude, this guy keeps shooting me with goo. Why? Stop shooting me, man. He is shooting me with the goo, right? What the fuck? What was that? Something is, like, zapping me from an unknown location. Alright, we got the big boy. Here's the big boy. The alien design is very sleek. Right? Wait, was that my revolver? Okay, can, can we... Can we ditch... The other thing? Well... Because I had... I had two guns, I, I thought. Oh, you can't... You, you can't ditch that gun. Oh, that's fucked. Well, I mean, I upgraded this. I don't want to... Maybe I gotta get behind them? Uh-oh. You just did. You, 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 you just did what, man? Alright, we got him. Use your shift to dash. Kit Boga's audio is perfect when he's not adding the phone filter and the voice changer. This chat has no clue what the fuck it is saying. Yeah, I mean, like... There's moments where he's not in one of those phone calls, right? Like he do he does he does do that, you know. One guy was joking. One, one guy was joking about Kit Boga sounding like shit. I don't know. That, but where's the joke? Where's the funny part? Uh, you, you're just confusing me and pissing me and pissing me off. I didn't know, like what's funny here.
I want to save the game. You, you think one of these things will let me save the game? I feel like I haven't saved the game in a while, and apparently there's no auto saving, so. I sure would like that. I sure would really appreciate that. Context, context is lost over text. Okay. There was literally no joke. I, I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm getting like like frustrated by this. C can somebody please explain to me in very very simple terms what the joke was? Like, can I have somebody like slowly and painstakingly explain to me like what this joke was supposed to be and like what? Because again, I just. As the room I kept getting electrocuted in. I'm like squandering all this awesome ammo, right? Ooh, what's that? A little... Like a little SMG type thing? Oh, let's try it out. Yeah, it doesn't feel too good, does it, asshole? You would think one of these things would allow me to save the game, but thus far, I haven't found any that are allowing me to do that. So, we're kind of, like, in the high-risk zone right now, you know? We're up to some risky business right now, guys. Mike, the joke is because he said that Kit Boga has bad audio. This is funny because it is intentionally done this way. This joke goes a layer deeper when you realize the chatter is chugging balls. Okay, now it's funny. It's it's finally funny now. Yay! Save the game. Holy shit. This guy sells weapons. All right. I haven't been using any of the consumables that this game has given me. Here's... Oh, dude. So you, you can't... Oh, guys, I'm so confused. Why couldn't I swap the, the other weapon before? Because you're only allowed to have one of each type of weapon, basically. Right? Your melee attack inflicts fire damage. That sounds good, yeah. I can't afford it. Assault rifle or Uzi. Again, they're using the same... I feel like you want weapons using different kinds of ammo, right? Like... This has the damage. Mm, we probably want this. Do that. Yeah, do that. Oh, that's too expensive. Whoops. I'm not going to do anything right now. You can also, like... It looks like you could change your character pretty much anytime you want. Well, when you're, when you're in one of these. I'm here to end this. The joke was sarcasm. It doesn't land through text. Sometimes it does, but you have to be, like, good at it. I guess that chatter is just... Not good at it. You know what goes a long way? A kappa. Good job, asshole. Karga Nuga, thanks for eight months, man. You had finals last week? My streams helped you not to go insane. Well, I hope you did good on the, on the finals, bud. Glad I could, um help kind of weird to hear somebody say that usually if anything i feel like i'd be an obstacle to you passing a, a, a test yeah juice him up juice him up juice him up 
Uh oh. Dude, you got your goo on me again. Not cool, man. You can't be getting your goo all over me. We're not a band from Liverpool. He's dead. I could potentially revive him. Defib. Clear! Defib them. Dude, I had like a quarter of a second left to, for him to not die. Clutched it. Clunched. My goo is natural. It comes from the earth. What's my uptime? Like an hour? Let me, um... Let, let, let me play this a little bit longer. I'm, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this, actually. And also, the beginning of the stream was, was, was like bu bullshit for at least ten minutes. So, he didn't pause to talk. He didn't pause to talk because the game doesn't let you. This pause screen is fake. Things are still happening back there because it's a multiplayer game. That's why he, that, that's why I didn't pause to talk, Matt. We need more games without pausing. You shut your mouth. Yeah, after this, like, I guess chapter or whatever, we'll switch. We'll switch to um. We'll switch to Faith Park Chapter 3. I have no ammo for anything. Good luck, buddy. Right in his ass. Keep juicing him. Keep juicing him. Don't stop the juice. Juiced up white boy. He stepped in his own goo like an asshole. <laughs> Did you see that? He stepped in his own goo. What a dick. This, we can't open that yet. Alright. Goaded with the goo? This dude was goaded with the goo. Unbelievable. At some point, I got more ammo, but not a lot of it, so. Wisp says uh, that they think streamers have talent because they said, my parents have tried talking to me while I'm playing Splatoon in the middle of a push, but I can't respond in an understandable way because I'm trying to focus on the game. Yeah, I don't know why that's hard to understand for, for, for parents sometimes, right? It's like, it's like I'm, I'm d d doing something. Like, it's not like Dad's football game. Where, like, if he stops why Like, you know, they don't, they don't fumble the ball if he stops watching it. Imagine if they did. Mom, it's an online game. I can't pause, Mom. Reinforcements. Glad you're here. Some device crashed in the middle of our plant. Shut down our systems and flooded our basin with toxic waste. There's no way you can reach that device without draining the basin first. I want to solve the problem myself, but I got stuck here. The area beyond the gate is completely infested. Perhaps you can get through and open the next gate from the other side. Take the key. It opens the warehouse up ahead. Oh no, he's hot. Gooper. He's a gooper. Dude, he's... He's a goofy gaper and a goofy goober. Uh, I'm a goofy gooper. Yeah, you're a goofy gooper. 
Alien influence destroy the... Oh, okay. Sure. Didn't pause the game, by the way. Yeah, blow the car up. He's goaded with the goop. Alright, so this is nothing. Just there's eggs over here. SMG is not as cool as the, the machine gun. So maybe I should just use that because again they're using they're using the same ammo, so probably just use this instead. Gonna get more mileage, more bang for the buck. Oh, I was using it. I'm a dumbass. And now there's no ammo for anything. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save him, guys. Yeah, he he's, he's fucked. Because I have no ammo for anything. Isn't that the ammo I needed? Oh, I thought I couldn't afford the enemies being set on fire by the melee attack thing. Oh, I, I got it anyway. Okay. But I couldn't afford that. Yeah, let's heal. Healing me meter full? Well, I see my HP in the top left. That's not full. What are they what are they fucking smoking? What are they talking about? Press T? Ah, press T. Thank you, chat. What would I do without you? Probably die in the street. Unironically. Oops. T stands for time to heal. Okay. T. Press T for self-suck. Yeah, but that's... But T doesn't... But that doesn't start with T, man. We did it. We cleared the... Uh, oh, we, we didn't. No, we did. Clear the alien influence. No? So, like I told you guys recently, th this, this sponsorship, and by the way, let me talk about the game for a second, okay? Um, if you like it, if you think it looks cool, some of you were saying that you think it looks cool and you like it, it is going to release on November 3rd. It's on Steam and Switch. It has solo and co-op for up to four players. Um, it's $15 along with a 20% launch discount for two weeks until November 17th. Um, if you use the link in the chat, that's not a, that's not a discount. But I, if you if you are gonna buy the buy the thing, consider using the link in the chat because it would help me out probably. I think. Um, so if you buy it with the launch discount, it'll be $12 USD. Man says, I do not think the game is interesting. Then why not close your fucking mouth? Then why not shut the fuck up? Why did you read it? Why did you type it? Why did you type it? I think that's the much better question. Why did you type it?
Ammo type full. I wonder what ammo type that is. Oh, this is my ammo type. Okay. I mean, I, I wish I had a weapon that had a different ammo type so I could, like, take advantage of some of this, you know? Oh, fuck. Okay. There were more in here than I realized. They were having a board meeting, dude. So here's what I'm thinking about, right? Because... I gotta heal. Like I told you... You son of a bitch. They want me to do two... They want me to do two streams of this game. And I told you I emailed them and I said, Hey, guys. It's not really convenient for me. Like, would it be possible if... You know... I did it instead of doing giving you like, you know, two one hour streams, I just give you one two hour stream. And they said no. But if I click stop streaming right now and wait five minutes and then click start streaming, I will have two one hour streams. Right? What do you think? What do you what do you what do you think of that? Delightfully devious. <laughs> just like I could just do another hour tomorrow, it'll be fine. I they said they didn't want that. No, they didn't say that. They said they, they wanted two streams. Uh, and I'm I'm giving if I did that they'd be getting they'd be getting two streams, you know. Wouldn't risk it. Nah, it's probably not worth it, but it's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny idea. Go hey Matt, go back and open the other box. You what other box, bud? What, here? I, I can't. They, wh where? Did I missed the box? There's a, uh, another... Oh, I, I have that weapon already. Near the boardroom? Alright, let me check that out. Oops. It's like a Stanley Parable office. Wait a minute, where... Whoa, 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 hold on. Here we go, okay. This one. Oh, cool, okay. Alright, well, we're, we're, we're full up on barbed wire. Is this a dead end? Are you past the required hour? Yes, I am past the required hour. I am now just streaming this game because I like it. We, we are now just in that mode. Which is why I was saying, you know, like, really just kind of silly. Like, you just let me do two hour, one two-hour stream. Because I'm, prob I'm probably going to do that anyway, especially if I like the game. But whatever, it's their, it's their choice. Oh, we got some more alien influence out here. Uh-oh. Not a good place for that. Damn, that thing had a lot of HP. That or the fire damage is not that impressive. I, um... Yeah, I just wanted to wait till we got to, like, the next save point or whatever before changing games. See what's over here. What are you? Uh, what are you trying to show me? Destroy. Destroy that. Oh, whoops. Fat fingered. Oh, you cheeky little fuckers. 
It's a gooper! Oh, he got me with the sauce. I'm all quirked up. I'm not gonna make it. I'm all quirked up. It's game over, man. Game over. All quirked up. Remind you of Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, what, what, why do you think that? I feel that, but why do you think that is? Oh, dude. You gotta, um, you gotta juke him out a little bit. I'm curious about the announcement you said you had. Yes! The announcement! Okay, I'll give you the announcement right now. You know how I raise money from Movember every month? Every month, every year? In November, we do, we do the Movember charity drive. Well, we're doing it a little bit different this year. Um, so I was talking about that on stream, and then... I think it was like that, the, like the night I was first talking about, about doing it. Joel messaged me and he was like, he was like, I want to, I want to help. He was like, I want to do it. He just loves doing stuff for charity, Joel. He was like, I want to be a part of that. And I was like, well, you know, we just did a charity thing. And he was like, so? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You're right. Okay. So we're going to do another event. This time it's going to be two days. It's going to be two days. Um, at the... Uh, the, the 26th and the, tw and the 27th, we're going to do it. The 26th and the 27th, um, we're going to do a, a, a little charity drive for November. That's it. That's it. Um, similar to the last thing we did, similar to, you know, stream of conscience. Um, I think Rev's uh, in interested in getting involved. Um, I think Zot's gonna get involved this time, which is cool. Uh, I don't know who else is gonna. I, I mean, I put it out there to everybody. Whoever is it was whoever is able and willing to do it will 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 participate. Um, but you know, again, my plan, my plan is to do a drum stream for this thing in the Miku suit. Do the Miku suit again because what the hell. So I have to get the audio stuff straightened out before then. Um, and I have, I have to, fi I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something with, you know, like donation amounts or, or, or whatever, you know, and how to, how to figure that out. Like, if you donate a certain amount of money, I'll try to play a song or something like that. Like some, some, some nonsense like that, you know. Do something hype for this charity. He likes cross-dressing. Yep! The Mikufication. Sure, Mike, for charity. Sure. We came from here, though, didn't we? What's... Yeah, hey, I did something. Oh, you want to come? With, you want to come with me? Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Let's save the game here. Yeah, let's save the game. Let's let's wrap this up here. And um. I'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll do Faith Chapter 3 here on out. Is your back feeling okay? No, it does not. Nope. Nope.
feels pretty, pretty bad. Actually, pretty bad. Mike, can you wear a tank top under the costume next time so it looks better? Guys, I'm actively trying to avoid everybody seeing my tits. What's What, what don't you understand about this? Mike, give me a quick recap of what happened in the first two chapters. I will not do that. Wait, you didn't like the game? No, I loved Faith. Uh, what I didn't like was what the drumming did to my lower back. Matt says, uh, I got to play it myself. I'm going to go to bed anyway. See ya, Mike. Hope you make some more noises that sound like a gay twink getting porked in the rear. Uh-huh. I did make like two epic ones last night, didn't I? Hey, Arpeggio. I only caught a little of the drum stream. It was cool seeing the wall of chat singing along to Red Vox. My favorite part was when I fucking butchered that song. And did like a like a total utter like Lars Ulrich moment. Like I channeled Lars Ulrich for that entire entire song. It was really, really embarrassing. Um, hey gimmicks, thanks for 13 months. Uh, what was the game? Oh, yeah, Faith. All right, so I got to do a few things here. I got to change um the ticker and all that stuff, you know. Faith Chapter 3. You know what could be cool? I'm going to get a little... um. A little, like, crucifix to put in there, you know? Like, a little crucifix emoji like that copied one yeah there you go that's cute all right faith here we go so the ticker should be updated um Wisp, if you could, if you're still here, if you wouldn't mind popping that in the in the Discord, letting everybody know we're doing that. And I think maybe tomorrow night, I'll do like you know the next hour of that of the game I was just playing. Mike, the difference between you and Lars is that you did it for kids with cancer. Lars does it for a crowd of eighty thousand people. All of which paid $200 to be there. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's still, um... Embarrassing, buddy, you know? Um... Oh, I'm working on this, guys. Faith. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went to the It's been that one house. year since you looked at me. I have That's a to bad joke. What I started. This is so loud, guys. No, just is it just me or is this deafening for anybody else? Guys, this game is deafening. Holy shit, why? Holy shit, dude. Because scary? <laughs> puppet combo moment? <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of a puppet. Honestly, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. I mean, I love the game, but yeah. So. Here's the lapel microphone that you guys shit all over. I'm going to put it back on. Because I want to see if... I, I want to see if, if... 
Now that I'm on my own time, I want to fuck around with this. And I want, like... More people to weigh in on this. Cause I think I think we could I think we could get this to sound good. And Chaley, if we if we don't get it to sound good, I'm gonna return it and go get one of the microphones you're talking about, honestly, because I can't do I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like I have to just admit that I lost and like I have to use one of these boom microphones, you know? Like you lost, get over it. Mike, disable the demons because they are scary. Guys, you don't understand. This thing is so cool. Guys, you don't you don't know how you don't understand how cool this thing this thing really is. You don't get it. Where is the the end of it though? I'm so confused. Where is it? Oh, okay, I got it. For a second, you're gonna hear both microphones. You're gonna hear both microphones for a second. Now you're only gonna hear the lapel microphone. Mike, use both mics, it sounds so good. Guys, what is this song? This is Ode to Your Mother. Ode to Your Mom. Yeah, that mic needs work. Chaley, I have highs, mids, and lows. What would you do? It feels f far away. Watch, watch this. Here's what's pissing me off. Watch this. If I put it right here, it's beautiful. If I put it right here, it's fucking perfect. I think, right? I think this sounds so good right here. But it can't be there. But it can't be there. It has to be here. It has to be here. It's not bad, it's just different. Can you put it on, on your collar, on your, your sweater? Well, I mean, like, this is, this is the, it, it, like, that's gonna barely get, get it closer. This is where it's supposed to be. You know, like, it's supposed to be here, guys. It sounds muffled. So, does it sound muffled when I put it here? It's less bassy. It sounds far, not muffled. It shouldn't sound far because this is what it's meant for. It's, it's, it's built to be fucking on your chest. It's built to be here. This is exactly where the micro is supposed to be. So I think it's bi it's built to be here. So why would it fuck sound fucked up here? How much gain is going into it? I don't know. You you want me to cr you want me to crank it? I could crank it. It'll, I think it'll sound like shit, but I could crank it. It sounds crisp. It sounds echoey. Lower the gain? He said low, lower the gain. I lowered, I lowered the gain. It's probably, probably you can't fucking hear me now. Probably it's inaudible now. I didn't do anything. It sounds a lot better, but quiet. What if I did this? What if I did this? It sounds like you're in a box. I don't want to sound like I'm in a box. This is good. This definitely sounds like shit. Perfect. It's definitely is not perfect.
It captures highs and mids, it amplifies S and T sounds. It sounds muffled. What if I did this? What does this sound like? What does it sound like when I do this? It should be it should be getting louder when I do this. It should be getting louder. It is getting louder. It sounds hotter. We don't want it to sound hot because then it'll peak. It sounds like the other microphone. That's what I fucking want. I want it to sound like the other microphone. It is a bit peaky. Well, that that's the problem right there. Because now we don't have the fucking volume to... See, that's what it, either it's going to be quiet or it's going to peak. It peaks a little with some echo. The echo is 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 a, is a problem, dude. Lower the gain and raise the output. The output is, is like you, you're talking about the you know about the output on the mixer knob. You're talking about the mic the mixer output. Like what output? What do you, what are you specifically you're talking about? The the gain, I I, I dude. There's no gain on it now. There's no gain on it. Absolutely none. Mike, go to B&H photo. I just fucking came from B&H. The echo is the room's reverb. Well, why doesn't the other microphone have echo? It, it does, doesn't it? It does have echo. This microphone does have some echo, right? It doesn't? The other one has little to, to, no, to no echo? I feel like I'm in a shitty work meeting. Good, that's the stream, that's the, the, the fucking quality of stream I strive for. Tell chat to go fuck themselves and start playing the game. I want to do this! I just bought a new microphone, I'm fucking with it. This is my choice. It needs an evened out compressor. All right, well, that, that type of shit, you know, that I can't do. I can't do that type of stuff, right? Here, let me, let me hear, I'm gonna make a recording and listen back to it right now. This is a test recording. One, two, three, piss. One, two, three, four, piss, piss. I was playing Splatoon 3 the other night and there was somebody on the opposing team and their, their name was P. In all lowercase letters, P. It was P. Their name was just P. This is a test recording. One, two, three, piss. That sounds like One, dog two, shit, One, two, three, guys. four, piss, piss. I was playing Splatoon 3 the other night and there was somebody on the opposing team and their, their name was P. In all lowercase letters, P. That just sounds fucking terrible. Hold on. This is a test recording. One, oh. two, three, piss. One, two, three, four, piss, piss. I was playing Splatoon 3. That sounds, that's so bad. Holy shit. Yep, fuck this. Test it when it's closer to you. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense because it's not going to ever be closer to me because it has to stay right here. Like, it has to stay right here. You know? Hey, Haunted Chasm, thanks for um, the gift sub. This mic is peaking. Yeah. That, sh that should have fixed it. It was one knob. Yeah, that should have that should have fixed it, guys. Relax. That should have fixed it. That should have fixed it. K 
keep the mic for the IRL streams. You you know you know what I think that mic would be fantastic for is act actually like I want to say the drumming streams because then I don't because the headset was the bane of my existence during those streams. The headset was was ruining my life in that stream. That headset would made that fucking impossible in that stream, dude. But like, you know how you know how much bleed that microphone would probably pick up though? The quality bar is high for you. My let me put it this way. My quality bar is 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 here. Like this this is this is microphone you're hearing right now is my this is this is what I want. Fuck, bro. It didn't save the f fucking settings. Here. No, that's not going to work. This is the the quality bar right here. This this is what I want my audio to fucking sound like right here. This is what I want it to sound like. I think you could get there with the lapel mic. I think I maybe I could get there with the lapel mic, but it would require a lot of work. And it sounds like I have to soundproof these these walls. No bricker crick. The sounds was was there. They they were there. Those the bleed was was there. You just you weren't hearing it for some reason. Well, I, I played with that microphone for about three hours today, guys. I'm not kidding. I, that microphone came in the mail today, and I had to sit here and fuck with it for like three hours. People will complain, but it's not like they're going to leave. It's it, This isn't about whether or not people are going to leave. It's about I want my fucking shit to sound good, bro. Show needles. What the fuck does that mean, dude? I'm still willing to look into this uh, other microphone, the... the the boom mic as like the final the final fucking option you know Mike strives for integrity I'm striving for integrity man if Chaley is not full of shit and the microphone can be sitting above this monitor not in my way and a fucking sound identical up to four feet that could work Man, talk about muffled. Holy shit. So is this John and, uh... And Garcia? All red. Okay. Guys, why the fuck does it sound like that? Because it's a flashback? Okay. My, the game audio sucks. It sounds like it came from a hooker's blown out asshole. This is John and Garcy. This, no, they said it's all red. This is a flashback to like the beginning of everything, right? Oh, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to go. Okay. Yo, look at look at Father John's fuck like like fat fucking nuts that swing back and forth when he walks. 
Or he's got like a like a very very big dick. Like look 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 look. You see it? He's got like one fucking like big swinging. He's got like a fucking Lyndon B Johnson dong, dude. You see that? Daddy Long Dick just landed in L.A. Daddy Long Dick just landed in Sterling, Connecticut, babe. I had to tie her up. Okay. Okay. Dude, those shades are epic, yeah. Okay, but Mike, have you seen Amy at the end of chapter one? She looks like the Grimace Snuggies image. <laughs> She's thick. Yeah, what happened? What? It's spoopy? Here she is, okay. Perhaps you're craving my McNuggies? Waterboard the demon out of her? Respice add me, Daemonium. It was a dream, guys. Again. Three days until the profane Sabbath. Okay. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they'll perform a ritual on them to call forth a, da a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malfess. I'm in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I'll contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. No, not the boys. Mouth is these nuts? Put these nuts in your mouth. Is your mouth in your mouth? I'm going, I'm going for it, mouth. I'm not going in there. Get in there, dude. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I'll try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malfas and disrupt their plans. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. All right. Vaya con Ditos. Fucked up in the crib eating Ditos. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape or the start button to re review no your notes. Vaya con Dios nuts? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, this is John's house? Leave? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe, I, I feel like there could be something we missed in here. It means go with God for any uh, dumb Americans in the chat. We don't have any dumb people in this, in this chat at all, so. Only smart geniuses in this chat. Only geniuses around these parts. This is a genius chat. For the big brains. We only have Rick and Morty viewers here. Like Lumpy Touch who had to pass an IQ test to type. Some channels make you, you know, do an email verification. Um... Or, you know, you have to follow. Us, you have to pass an, an IQ test. The power of Christ compels you... 
to dry my clothes faster, please. I don't know what they want down. Like, what's the point of being down there? I don't understand. Clean your lint filters, you bitch. Maybe you should buy in your own business and worry about your own fucking lint filters, bro. Mike, you could go to the left and right and peek into your neighbor's windows. Why are you telling me this now? You had so much time to tell me. Leroy 2. What's going on? Is that a rat? It's a mushroom. Couldn't help myself. Do you see that we have an emote for that now? Specifically, a Mortis emote. Which apparently exists. Yes, I have no place for you, Bridger. For you! Dude, did you see that? That was OJ. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed in there. Let's steal a cop car, GTA style. All right, so I think it, it, it's it's pretty clear that where we got to get to is that rat that we saw. What's this? A dead bird. That's fucked. Sage. In the balls. Yo, it's that S. The S, the cool S. The cool S. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Tall buildings are the number one predators of birds. Are you saying that bird just fucking flew into a window? Hold up. I went right, didn't I? What? It's a circle. I, I wrapped around. I like went around the block, basically. Guys, what? Man, why are the, the the drivers of these vehicles like actually murderous? Can't go right any further. Okay, well, all right, so there we go. Guys, maybe the bird is just sleepy. He's he's just he's just the sleepy peepee. -pee. Mike, these these people went to the e Dr. Evo Robotnik Driving School? Cowabunga? Eat my shorts. No, that says Cowabana. Okay. Beel Beelzefest, 1987. Okay. Beelzefest, 1987, rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by When All Is Said and Done, Trust No Corpse, The Horror Is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage, Among the, the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and Scythe Lord. Um, advanced sale tickets, uh, the door to afterbirth. Binding of Isaac, the door to afterbirth. Okay, uh, admission at door, $5. All right. Cowabunga, man. Cowabanal. In the balls. Uh, well, why don't you... You should just come here when you go to the right over there. Why, why... It should just wrap around. Why does it send you back to the... Because fuck you. Cow were bungled. There's this graffiti... Um, on the... The Brooklyn Queens Expressway. It's called, you know, the BQE. 
I've talked about this before. It's like this massive billboard that nobody has wanted to rent this thing, I guess, for, for years. Okay? Hundreds of thousands of people must drive past this thing every day. Right? It's, 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 it's like fucking 30, at least 30 feet above the highway. All right? And, prob and, you know, it's an elevated highway, so it's probably like 60 feet from the fucking ground, dude. Okay? Somebody climbed up there to do graffiti on it. It's been there for years. The graffiti is completely illegible. You cannot read what it says at all. It's like angels of chaos or something like that, but that's not what it says. It's totally fucking illegible. Who, how many people have seen this billboard? Internal organs, you've seen it? Does it look cool? No, it looks like shit. Some fucking person climbed up there at great risk to their life to graffiti something that no one can read. At all. Like, definitely they almost died and you cannot read what this says at all. Send it on Google Maps and screenshot. I don't know if I would be able to find it because I would have to get up onto the highway and then you could definitely find it on Google Maps. But I don't think that that would be like easy. Trainer Red Mario said, I found it. Can you show? Well, like, can you put it in chat, maybe? Real? Mike, that's like climbing Mount Everest, planting a flag that says come and leaving. Is it white text on a black background? Yes. You found it. Yes. That's it. Why isn't anyone renting it? I don't know. It's been this graffiti has been on there for years. And every time I see it I'm like, "Why would you do this? Like, why would you do? What are you what are you doing?" You know? You feel watched. Oh, I should hope so. Thanks for being here tonight, chat. <laughs> to Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller Facts. Hi, Rhonda. Uh, just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their healthcare experience. Remember our sales points. Clean, quick, courteous. Hand jobs. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. And I said, what about message with Tiffany? It's like the second time I quoted a terrible song. You know what? That's not a terrible song. Fuck yeah, it's a good song. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Miss Martin. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. I can't stand him. Remember, Gary loves you. And facts begin lies. Gary loves you. This is the pregnancy clinic mentioned from chapter two. The red text is meant to be cult text, right? Anytime you see red text, it's the cult communicating with each other, right? Um, because at one point, Amy was pregante. Is that what happened? Gary is my wife's boyfriend. Dude, there's going to be like feet like fetal horror now, fetal horror. Like in fucking uh Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil 8 had some some top-tier fetal horror, dude. 
That's a chicken. That's the cinnamon bun. Time to ragu the baby. It looks like this baby was pre ragooed. This kind of, all right, this one kind of looks like a baby. The other two were like mega fucked. I don't know what's going on. Someone shoved the cinnamon bun up there. Yeah, it was like in one of those finger family videos where the, 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 the embryos and fetuses, whatever, like inexplicably just have like cake and fried chicken like in their mom's vagina. Silent Hill PT had a, had a, a fetus in a bag. A fetus in a bag. Uh, I played it with a bunch of friends on ath on acid. Doesn't sound like a good idea, dude. Oh, hold on. Can I have that crowbar? Is that a thing? Gordon Freeman style? Gordon time. You're not Gordon. Gord on these nuts, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? John, get up. Dude, there was poop on the floor. Did you see it? There was shit all over. There was shit. <laughs> Why was there shit? Holy fuck, look at this. What is that sound, dude? Hide? Come? Yeah. Guys, the room, what do you mean the room was lost? Okay, f guys. Come on. Alright, hide right there, I guess. I don't know. No, I see it. I see it. I see, no, I see it. How, wow, how dare they? Man, that fucking really takes you out of it, doesn't it? Man, holy shit. Nothing to see here. Maybe, uh, while he's looking at that, we sneak out the door. Yeah, let's just go. He's doing something. He's busy. This is so fucked up. This is deliciously fucked up. Aw, oh, dude, he saw me. Alright, go up the fucking stairs, bro. In in your in the gurney. <laughs> go up the stairs in the gurney. It, it's not gonna work, no. Alright, here's what you probably gotta do. You gotta like pretend you're one of the bodies somehow. Go up the stairs in the in the in the gurney. Or this. Maybe loss is maybe that's like a clue for how to do this. It's just a coincidence that it looks like loss. Everyone I've watched play this has tried to go up in the gurney. I was certain it wasn't going to work, but I thought it'd be funny if it did, so I had to try. Like, it was like, you know, I, it was obvious it wasn't going to work. But what if it did? More tits. Alright, here's what I think we'll do. We'll go insert ourselves, like, right underneath this guy. How is he even doing this, by the way? Like, how is he... We'll insert, like, right here, and we'll just... Oop. Oh. 
He's not going to see this. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to see it. We're good. Okay, but now what? Because... I mean, I'm still in the gurney, and I can't go up the stairs, so what's what's the... Now what's the plan? Now you can go... Why can't I go up now? And I couldn't go up before. What sense does that make? If you jiggle harder, you can go faster. Oh, shit. What the hell is going out here? <laughs> okay. He finds me strapped to a gurney, and then I get arrested? Have fun, bud. Dude, look at all the sh like the turds on the floor. Look at look at all that shit. <laughs> Mike, this purple dude kind of looks like Vinny, doesn't he? Oh shit, dude! Shoot him! Why are you not still shooting? It jumped out the window? Motherfucker. Shoot him! Yeah! Oh, this is excellent. Yeah, I knew he wasn't done. Got him. The cop is one. <laughs> oh my god, this game is still like somehow manages to have a sense of humor still. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, go to the right. Is that him dead? Oh. Well, that's less funny. Notice I said less funny. Can you grab his gun? I couldn't do anything, dude. Dude. No, that is, that is Gaster up there. Like, the lib that's actually... Ga that's a legit Undertale reference. That's Gaster's face, right? That's what he's supposed to look like? And Uboa? What, I don't know what Uboa is. Is it like your Urbosa? No, I can't have his gun or anything. No, I can't have his shit. Not Urbosa, you cum brain. Well, I don't know what you're fucking talking about, dude. Man, what a what an incident this was. Holy shit. He was one day from retirement, dude. <laughs> one day? <laughs> Survives a fucking demon attack and then gets fucking beat down by hippies. Why is that chair so pink? They weren't hippies, though. They were fucking cult members, for sure. Or maybe they were both. Stop showing me that. God damn it. Did you crux it? I keep forgetting to crux things, guys. That's the crux of the matter. Yeah, you have to crux shit in this game, right? I, mean, I guess we're going back in here. Um, 
Maybe we crock some shit in here. Crocs these machines, maybe? The gurney mic. What gurney? The one I was on? The one I was attached to? Get back on. Why the fuck would I get back on? For a secret? For a fun secret. Join them. Like this? Like... To the door? Like, leave, leave the... Maybe leave the... the, the don't move, wait a moment. Oh. He's trying to show me how to get a secret ending. I love the animation. Saucy? YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> okay. Sounds like babies. They got babies up here? Wow, cool! Brimstone! Yeah, okay, lady. <laughs> yeah, I'ma head out. <laughs> he really said, I'ma head out. Wait. Yeah, I'ma bounce. I'm outie. Yep. Dude. Dude, fe fetal, fetal funny. It's getting fetal. We can hit her too, and we're gonna have to. I don't have piercing shots, man. Oh, dude, this is too many babies. Triple kill? The baby's getting faster? Oh no. Dude, this is too many babies. That's way too many babies, dude. No, I don't want to be a father! Dude, that was like a quadruple kill. Holy shit. One way or another, these babies aren't gonna make it. Oh! Dude, this is stupid. Come on. Oh my god, this is too much. Too many babies. Oh, please. You gotta be closer to her. Sorry. 
so many babies. This is an average Irish Catholic household. Mike, that's racist. No! Wait, is that good? That's probably not good, right? She got a shield of babies? Get out of here. What is that? They're making a babyzilla? <laughs> a baby! Dude, it was like a baby fucking bionicle or some shit. Dude, should I just leave? Uh, I might be fucked, guys. Power Christ compels you! Yeah. All right, guys. So you got to manage the babies. Like you can't let the babies. They they created like a like a Transformers robot of babies. Like the babies. Twitch chat be like. It's about baby management. The babies can't hurt you directly? I don't understand. It's, are we hitting her or like what's the deal? We are. Stay the course. Just stay the course. This is working. I mean, eventually they like fall off her. Only the tall babies can hit you. I didn't know that. That makes this so much easier. I thought that the babies were, were hitting me. Only kill the long babies. It's weird because it kind of doesn't look like you're damaging her, right? Dude, he's going to transform into a long baby. We cannot allow this. No. This is so good, dude. Yeah, yeah fuck you, yeah! No, long baby, no! Too long, babies! Fuck! Greed. Okay, so you can't let any long ba- any long babies happen. No long babies. No long babies. Like, as soon as a long baby spawns, you're done. The long babies can be killed. Yeah, but once they start coming at you, it's like damn near impossible. Come on, Mike, step it up! <laughs> Guys, when is Sonic Forces happening? So, boy, Jesus Christ. When is Sonic Frontiers happening? I think you get you can't let any long babies happen. One week. Are you guys fucking as hyped as I am for Sonic Frontiers? I'm definitely playing that. I have no like I'm still not sure about the Pokemon game, but I'm definitely gonna play Frontiers.
I wonder if we're doing anything or there's just like too many babies. All right, you see that? We got to stop that right there. That can't happen. It's happening again. When they're not targeting you, they're going to become long. Fuck, dude. That's too many long babies, look. Dude, how am I gonna kill all these long babies? Yes. Yes! Yes! Yeah, get out of here! The power of Christ compels you! Ah, defeating a bunch of babies fills me with the same sense of pride as I get when I win a Splatoon match because it's the same thing. Defeating a bunch of babies. Streamers when they abuse women and children. Guys, time that guy out. Church-sponsored abortion complete. That was the ultimate prego punch. It was. Stumble guys trained you well, Mike. Smooth moves, priest. <laughs> Smooth move, x -lex. Smooth moves, priest, but the twins are not here. Carry out the works of your God while it is yet day, for the night cometh. Remember... Gary loves you. Did those babies prevent you from getting S plus four? Well, I can't get S plus three, bittersweet. I think I'm going to... I seriously just have to give up. I just have to stop playing Splatoon. It's just not... It's like not a good use of my time on this earth. Just not good. I'm just not good. Not good at the game. It's just fucking sad. Sad, but sad, but true. Don't play ranked? Then why play? Are you gonna sit there and do turf war over and over for no reason? Okay. It is a salmon run. Okay, end. That's it. I had this obsession with like winning and I I I like winning. I I and I hate losing, you know? Turf War is definitely not as fun. I, I think that, that depends. Like, I think once people like really play rank mode and get into it, you, t Turf War doesn't do it for you anymore. Eh. I guess, salmon mode is cool. I know there's there, there's so many people who only play Salmon Run, and that, that's valid. That That's valid. Ranked is like crack. Ranked is... Bad, dude. How addictive it is, yeah. Turf Wars for warming up or trying a new gun. That's all... The ranked mode where it's the open or whatever, where you only do the one match and it's not the series. That's pretty good for that, too. Because it's, like, low pressure, you know? Like, I, I like that they put that in the game, actually. I think that's a very... At first, I was like, why bother doing this? Like, you're only going to get eight points per vic victory? Like, you're... But now I understand it. Now it makes sense. It's so you can play the ranked modes without destroying your your rank, basically. Because when you lose, you only lose five points. Right? All right, we have to get in the car, apparently. I never do ranked series. It also lets you play with your friends when you do the open. Dude, the series just sucks. It's it's it sucks so much. It's just it's so painful. I I've had my heart broken by that so, so many fucking times, you know. All 
Am I playing the game here? I am. Don't just stand there, Father Ward. Get the book and recite the prayer of exorcism. So this is the incident that like fucked John up in the in the first place, right? Exorcizo te, critora salis. Ajoro te. I didn't read fast enough. How is Splatoon 3 if you're a Salmon Run only kind of player? You're gonna fucking love Splatoon 3. There's, salmon Run is so much better in, in Splatoon 3. It's like... Night and day. I, honestly, aside from there being like... You know, it's more interesting because there's more, there's more monsters. Like, there's more Salmon fellas. Um... Just that simple addition of throwing the... Being able to throw the eggs makes the mode so much so much better. I don't know why. So much more fun. You say that when glow flies exist. Okay, with the exception, Gl glow flies is it's so silly. What do you want me to do? What? Go into the kitchen? Leave dick. Somebody in chat said, leave dick. Now you know why Garcia kept moving around the room when you had to protect him. He was doing th this minigame. <laughs> yeah. Father already. Yeah, not Garcia. Glowflies is unwinnable if your whole team doesn't play absolutely perfectly. And when does that ever happen in, in Salmon Run? Like, like, unless you're in a call with three people that, you know, not randos. Like, you have no chance. Just use, you see Glowfly, just put the controller down. You lost. Take it. Save her. Oh, this is how he gets the... The Golden Crucifix. Okay. And this is the beginning of the first chapter. Or something, I think. Right? Holy fuck, Lois. Why are you guys quoting that? Two days until the profane Sabbath. Mike didn't notice the mannequins moved. Yes, he did. All right, here's a message in the chat from Jeremiah Cross. It says, in all caps, attention, gay Splatoon player. In this level, there are two notes that are a drawing of a demon in an elevator. Make sure to get both after you defeat the boss of this level. Look at the notes through your menu and input the code in order of the notes. That's step two for the true ending. What the fuck? What? Bored Lizzie, thank you for the, uh, the gift sub. Grillers is also still pretty fucked. Like, I don't know. Grillers is also really, really hard to, to coordinate. Does he care about the true ending? Yeah. I care. John. For now, this is the only way I can contact you. You know what? Dude? Gr Grillers isn't that bad. It depends on what the weapons are, honestly. This is the only way I can contact you. It says, Attention, gay Splatoon player. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I can see the pizza on your roof. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. That is so Cap Jr. John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malthus. 
I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Via con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I, I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I can see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, ju just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They, they won't let me leave. There's a shit my invasion. Viacom dildos. All right. Somebody in chat said, Mike, I took an ass ripping dump and clogged the toilet. Plunger is not proving effective. I have been battling this demon for an hour. Any advice before I confess my crime to my roommate? That story gets 50 times funnier when you realize it's being told by somebody named Lindsay. Which can be a guy's name, but that's rare. Right? Now, here's what you need to do. Get a crucifix. Go into the bathroom and point it at the toilet and say the power of Christ compels you. You got to get a poop knife. Right? And maybe you need a poop fork. You might have to make a whole meal out of this, this deal. The shit exorcist? The excrement exorcist. Mike, grab it with both hands and throw it out the window. The exorcist? Makes sense. So, dude, um, these drawings, where are they at? Because I don't know what the fuck you do. You, you leave the house? The shit exorcist? That Because that's terrible. That's why I didn't say it. Mike. No, no, Lindsay, here's what you do. Take the shit, put it in your mouth, Chew it up till it's a foam, and then rub it on yourself. Chew it up till it's a foam. <laughs> Why do hedgehogs do this? Do this? Science doesn't know why hedgehogs do this. Looks like he's watching re wrestling? Um. Break his back! I'll fuck his ass! I'll make him humble! I wonder if there's a point to that existing. Okay, so this is a dead end. Or is it? Is it a fat man or a kid? I don't know. Alright, so apparently there's another house to the left. Find out what's going on over here. The whole family watching the same shit. We're watching the same shit, dude. What was the point of that? Is there a point? The priest spies on his neighbors daily. Well, dude, you know, he's got good intentions and he's a man of the cloth. You know, I mean, obviously. There will be a reason for it. Uh oh. Priests never do anything fucked up. Ever. Alright, so we're gonna look for, um, like, paintings or something, right? Among the Damned. 
So this person is saying, make sure you get... Fight. There's a boss here. We're going to fight the boss. And then after we fight the boss, we're supposed to pick up drawings. Or something, right? God, I hope I'm not supposed to be, like, remembering any of this or paying any attention to any of this. Hello, Mr. Ward. I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacay in the country, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. Ha ha ha, she definitely wrote that. She definitely wrote that. Other notes from Lisa. I wonder if that's supposed to like make me do something. All right, that's freaking me out. Me, yep. Well, that was instant. Was fucking instant death. Oh hell nah. Well, it didn't matter. So. I love the, eye, the the hands going over your eyeballs. More tits. Let's see what's uh, over here. Stay out of the dark and you'll be good. There was only dark down there though, dude. Knock, knock, bitch. Have you heard the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? The good word. Have you heard that bird is the word? Bop, bop, bop. No, we're not going to do that. Don't worry. Unless somebody does a Peter Griffin voice redemption. This room is full of fat dumpy, guys. Bird up. Two A. Oh, there's no door. Whoa. Uh -oh. Was this Lisa's apartment, dude? Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven blank by passing them through the blank carved out of the impure vessel's face. What? Then shall the unspeakable reward the blank with the second death? Such was the fate of that whore, Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. The most evil thing of all, Mad Libs. Twitch T. So there's a lore reason why she had a, a fucking hand coming out of her, the hole in her face, right? Like, they remove your fucking face, this cult. Alright, that looks... Like something... We can exercise it? Hmm. A bad dragon. A poop knife? An adult toy. You know what's funny, guys? If you go to the PP website to try to buy a PP, it tells you that they are adult toys. Which implies that PP is a dildo. Shove PP up your ass. Don't shove PP up your ass. Wispbones has a message from the Discord. Morb job. Morb job. Um. Okay. They were like a like a fuck. It looks like some kind of anime nerd lived here. Wow, that's just not working, huh? 
That's just not working. The knife is impervious to my my priestly um priestly charms. There's stairs under this table. Am I seeing that right? That probably go down to the apartment underneath this one? It's the only thing that makes sense. Back in the day, dildos were called marital eds pretty frequently. Man, that's fucking depressing. Imagine, like, you know, you're married and, like, your wife is just, is like, using a dildo, like, instead of your dick. Fucking, I feel like that upset, that would upset me. I'd be like, well, then fucking leave me then. Like, what, what, are, you, what are you still doing here? Go, go, go marry your dildo. Goodbye. Get out. Go get married, uh, go get married to your dildo. See ya. And then she married the dildo. Yeah. <laughs> Later, bitch. You love your dildo so much, huh? Then why don't you marry it? Maybe I will. I pronounce you dildo and wife. There was that one guy who used to come to this channel who swore to God. Like, I don't, I don't even think he was trying to be funny. I really don't think... I really think it was a true story. Where he said his wife left him for a Lucario dildo. She was like, I don't need a husband anymore because I have this Lucario dildo. Like, straight up. Mike, why do you hate elevators? Because it's fuck them. Don't trust them. It's scary. Can't get in there. I wonder what the what, what, what do you think the key was for? Yo. We gotta exercise this television, dude. What makes it a Lucario dildo? I, you really don't want, there, there's answers to that question, but you really don't want them, trust me. You extra don't want those answers, like, it's, you don't want them, you don't want them, you don't. Guys, are you hearing the very distant sound that's happening in this game? Guys, I'm taking the stairs. I'm, I'm, I'm burning fat. Getting, uh... You know, burning some carbs. Whatever. Like, like, getting in some exercise. Right, guys? Getting my steps in, guys. I wonder if that's what I needed the key for. Just rub it off, dude. What? Is that a Pepe? Dagger? Face. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Welcome to Gary's. I love you. Okay, we have to go to the roof of the building or the highest level of the building. Okay. I think they want us... To go get the dagger and stab the person in the basement, and then we have to, when we can remove the seal with the bloody dagger. That's what I'm wrong. All right, well, like, 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 Jeremiah, thank you for hel helping. G give me like fucking two minutes before you backseat me. 
Just give me like two minutes, dude, to try to figure it out on my own. Eventually, I'm going to fucking ask you anyway. So just give me two minutes to try to find out, please. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. I love games. I love games. There's so many jump scare opportunities with that. Holy shit. Mike, you can't play the elevator game yet. All right, just tell me to what the fuck to do then. Just tell me. Because like, I've got no leads. I don't know. I Don't go to floor seven. There is no floor seven. Okay, there is 10 floors. So, you know what? We're going to floor 5 because I came from floor 5. I'm going to tell you why. And we're going to take the stairs up. Someone in chat said, Jesus Christ, you people are insufferable. <laughs> They're fine. They're fine. You should try to audio balance with them if you think they're insufferable now. Try having any audio or like visual issues. All oh, candles? It's just getting weirder the higher up we go. Elevator friend. By Fimi. All right, dude. It says one, four, two, six. One, four, two, six. Right, chat? One, four, two, six. Dead end. There is no seventh floor. Uh, yeah? It's, it's weird because there's supposed to be a stairwell there. It's just a brick, brick wall. Bet? Yeah, bet. <laughs> bet, dude? Bet? We're going to get jump scared horribly is what's going to happen. Then get rid of the button, assholes. Yup. Just mashing that button. Mash the closed door button. Alright, we go to the 8th floor and we see if there's a staircase down to 7. Who's that? My dude, C bet. Hello? Fuck you. Hello? Holy shit, bro. Gary is on floor seven. Best. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Sounds hot. Would you rather I was playing Mortuary Assistant? Or you just... I like this game. I don't know. I think I'm glad I, I, I played this instead. Because Mortuary Assistant sounded like a little bit of a cock cake. No, dude. No, dude.
So hold up, because... This is... Wait, this is a staircase up, right? Yeah. So hold on. We're going to that. We're going to that seventh floor. We're going. There's things in the game that get you demonetized. Yeah, actually, I remember people saying, like, hold on, why, why did my playthrough of Mortuary Assistant get, get fucking demonetized? I mean, it's, it's, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I don't... Guys, I, I make very little money from YouTube. Like, if, if, I, if I was, like, a huge YouTuber and, like, then I could see that being a huge deal. But, like... Just make, like, a couple hundred bucks a month from YouTube, which is... Dude, not bad. But... You know, I use that to pay the people, like, doing the, the YouTube for, the shit for me, you know? Start making finger family videos. <laughs> yeah. YouTube hates me so much. Mike, that's still half of a Walmart paycheck. No, I'm grateful for it. Of course. Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. Cool. There is a seventh floor. And this is kind of like how you would get to it. No. Alright, so I guess we're going to floor 9. The 7th floor is real. L is real. Mike. Forbidden door is just a metaphor for anal. Dude. How dare you? How fucking dare you? Missed door? Oh, you don't get a warning after a while. Time to play elevator fat tier game. Two. What? Ten. Right? X is ten. Two, ten, five, one. Don't do it until you kill the area boss. Well, don't I have the two drawings that the person in chat was talking with Jeremiah was talking about? Look, happy Halloween, guys! Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family annual Halloween block party. Oh, by the way, I found a bunch of pumpkins on that Minecraft server, so I'm, gonna, I'm thinking of making a pumpkin house. Uh, the Halloween block party will be held on Halloween. Uh, starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activities will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, a.k.a. those who received the newsletter, are invited. Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident. Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, do we not want a repeat? We do not want a repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats, but no tricks. And just <clears throat> another friendly reminder that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. It's going to be one shitty Halloween. Also, please be aware of Timmy's diet and food allergies, and please be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not sneak up on him or try to scare him. <laughs> Again, he still has trouble after what happened last year. Dude. T 
Timmy's too much of a snowflake for Halloween. Man, Timmy sucks. <laughs> yeah. Also, please don't wear any um, Halloween costumes that would be culturally insensitive. Okay, no ponchos and sombreros. Okay, nothing like of that of that nature either. So no scary costumes, no racist costumes of any kind. Okay, no peanuts, no chocolate, no candy. Timmy's allergic to candy. Also, nothing sexual, no sexy nurses. Timmy is gay. Okay, so no sexy nurses, please. He's afraid of boobs. No slutty costumes. Okay, put your cleavage away, all right? No sexy male nurses either, right? Hey, Focus, thanks for 13 months, buddy. It's going away. What's going away, bud? Timmy is on the keto diet. Uh, only keto-friendly uh, candy, please. Um, you will also notice that he has a new imaginary friend. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who has taken to Timmy so well and has become like a part of the family, Debbie. Sick. Can I tell you guys a, 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 a spooky Halloween story? All right. Some spooky, uh, spooky tidbit, a spooky little tidbit from my, my childhood, a spooky, one spooky story. Okay. Now, apparently, and I, I have like vague memories of this, but when I was a kid, I, I'm talking like six years old, like young. Um, I had a thing where I was just terrified of like any and all ho like Halloween anything. Like I hated Halloween for a long time when I was a kid. Like I really just hated Halloween because it legitimately just scared the shit out of me. Like, yeah, I was like a little, I was like a little bitch, you know, I was like, yeah, I was. I was scared. Like the costumes freaked me out. And whenever we, we would go, it, my dad's not involved in this story, actually. Whenever we would go trick or treating... Um, I would have to like wait. Apparently, uh, this I, I'm, again. I'm, I'm, my mother is is telling me this. You know, like years later, I would have to wait on the sidewalk. Chicka chee, chicka chee. No, no. <laughs> uh, I like to watch that every year. I forgot to watch that this year. But anyway, I like to wait. Uh, I w I would wait on the sidewalk because like I didn't want to go up to the people's house because all the the decorations would fuck me up. But genuinely, the, de the decorations would just freak me out so badly that, like, I couldn't even trick-or-treat. So, like, my brothers or whatever would go get the candy for me and bring it back to me. Like, I couldn't walk up to people's houses if their houses were decorated. I had a crippling fear of cardboard... Yeah, like, like construction paper decorations. Like, if there was, like, like fake spider webs, freak me out. Like a, like a paper skeleton, freak me out. And God forbid they had something that was motion detecting and it used to like, you know, move or make noise or whatever, you know, those types of decorations. Forget it, I would cry. So it's it's like the Halloween season and I guess, you know, I, I go to school, the bus picks me up, they take me to school. Now again, I barely remember this. And for some reason, I go in the classroom, I'm, I'm told to sit down, and then I just start crying. And I just w will not stop crying. Like, I'm crying nonstop for like an hour. I will not stop crying. So they, they call my mom, and they're like, there's something wrong with your son. He won't stop crying. And she's like, all right, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, what, what's going on? Like, is anything wrong? Like, why would he be? And they're like, oh, he's just, 
won't stop crying. Can you please like come up here and like and like get it, like pick him up because like he's disrupting the class because he just won't stop crying or whatever. Like he's just he's freaking out, you know. And she came to get me and went into the classroom and there was like a fucking witch like, like decoration on the wall. It was a witch. Like a Halloween witch decoration. Is the reason why I wouldn't stop crying. This was yesterday. This was two years ago. No, I was like six years old. Um, yeah, I'm very confused by that comment from Dave. Hi, Dave. Thanks for stopping by, man. It was really confusing. Um, so she was like, take down the witch. I remember what the witch looked like. It was green. And... It had like, you know, the black hair. It looked like Gruntilda. It looked like Gruntilda, basically. And it had like the big warts on its nose and everything. Like the warts fucked me up, man. I couldn't be... I, that, that was... That was the thing I think that fucked me. Like that was what fuck upset me so badly. The war, I don't know, the warts on the nose like were, was... I remember that like for some reason that specifically was like making me cry or whatever. Draw it in the art game. I bet you I could draw it in the art game. This is why Mr. Rogers had a song called Witches Aren't Real because kids can be legit scared of things. I wasn't afraid of like the witchcraft or like, you know, the magic that the witch could perform because if anything, I would have thought that was cool. I was just freaked out by the warts. Like I was like, why does she have warts? Like go see a dermatologist, you know? Like, that was what made me cry, specifically the warts. I can tell you this now because, like, I remember. Afraid of women. Hocus Pocus fucked you up. Dude, Hocus Pocus is this one of the scariest movies ever. Like, not even like the Halloween movie. It's just a fucking horrifying movie. And that also scarred me as a child. Dude, that movie is, is, is beyond terrifying. It has Sarah Michelle Gellar's face in it. That's not her name, is it? Is that her name? What, what's her fucking name? It's not. Sarah Jessica Parker. Joke ruined because I couldn't remember her name because I'm senile. People are giving me the trophy? Bro. I said the wrong person. I don't deserve a trophy. I, I said the wrong person. How did you mess up her name? I'm fucking old and brain damaged. That's how. Can I do it over again? It's one of the scariest movies ever made. It has Sarah Jessica Parker's face in it. Sarah Michelle Gellar was fucking Buffy. Who was like... Attractive. So anyway, the video game. Nope, not done. Not done. Not done. No, Hocus Pocus did fuck me up too. And genuinely, Sarah Jessica Parker is terrifying. We joke around, but really, she's hideous. Anyway. The, the teacher simply took the fucking witch off the wall? And like put it in her desk. And apparently the way my mother tells the story. I instantly stopped crying. Instantly. Like the second. My mom was like it was amazing. Because the second the witch was, was, was out, of your, out of your sight. You stopped crying and just sat down. And like it was like it, was like it didn't happen. It was like it was it was like it never happened. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Okay, that part's funny. Did you hated the rest of my story? 
Did you get bullied by this for the other kids? I don't think so. I think we were like too young for that shit. Like I don't. I mean, maybe. I, I that I don't remember. But my mom told that story recently, like to embarrass me in front of people, and I was like, you know what? I think. I think, you know who really likes when I when I embarrass when I when I embarrass myself, my chat. So I'm gonna tell my chat that story, and then I did. And then I did. And then I did. Mike immediately after the witch was removed. Come. It was more cute than embarrassing. Yeah, I guess. Sacrifice what you cling to? All I cling to is this crucifix. You hear that? Wizbones. All right. Was trick or treating, and there was a really well decorated house. There was a wolf man passing out candy. I refused to go up there because I had recently watched the thriller music video. She was six or seven. I refused to go up there because I was scared. I also cried because my family was trying to get me to go up there. <laughs> I love that shit. I love that shit. I love that kind of shit, dude. What's going on in here? Oni. Oni is a shit in our mouths. Oni plays. Oni is a shit in our mouths. Fucked up in the crib watching Oni. Oni. <laughs> Fucked up in the crib watching Oni. I love any story about like kids, like when, like as somebody I know as an adult hearing a story about how they were like stupid or annoying as a kid is always really funny to me. Especially Hall Halloween stuff is always so good, right? For some reason, because because it's weird, you know. It puts it puts kids in weird situations, like like freaky situations. Basement dumb waiter. Pull up on the handle to open the hatch. Place an item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on the handle to close the hatch. Press the button to send the dumbwaiter to the basement. The light will blink, blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle... Jostle... ...around inside the container. Do not open hatch... Once the dumbwaiter has reached the basement, I do not have enough earplugs, and I am tired of people losing them. I guess it's loud down there. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Give up the cross? No. Then give up something else? No. Then give up the cross? No. Then give up the nut bread? No. Give up things you cling to. Dude, fuck that. I'm not giving them my cross. Get out of here. Is it wait, is this floor ten? Yeah, this is the top. Yeah, so so that thing was saying you have to go to the top to get down. You got to get up to get down, or whatever. What what is that? A fucking Daft Punk song or something? All right, we're putting our crucifix in there. It's the only thing to do. So there it goes. It's jostling. It's jostling. Where is this security camera, though? Like, where is the camera? Well, then put your crucifix away. One year, when I was in middle school... Uh, here's another story. 
I decided to hand out candy, so I dressed up but sat it in a chair near my neighbor and acted like a prop. When the kids came to get candy, I would come to life and spook them, then give them candy. One kid started crying and would not come near me. I had to give the candy to his mom instead. Instead. <laughs> Chaley spent one Halloween after trick-or-treating playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and punting Chows as Eggman for an hour, threatening my sister. I'd throw one of them in the blender. <laughs> okay. My mom's response was giving half my candy to her. Oh, I bet he, he didn't like getting the crucifix down there. That crucifix probably sucked. Like, he opened it and was like, Ugh. You know, he probably didn't like it. We got a raid from Grapefruit. Thank you so much, buddy. I hope you're having a good night, my, my dude. What are these? Oh, we're blocked? Fruity fellas, welcome to the stream. We're playing Faith. Um, it's a game about... God and Jesus and um, having faith in Jesus. Is it time to play the elevator game? Gutsy Crow has another Halloween story, uh, kid as as a kid, Halloween kid story. One time I poop my pants. Very funny. Very funny. Poop your pants and then poop your tent and have sex. Okay, thank you for recording those because I'm not gonna remember those those things. One four two six was the first one, right? So you go one. take forever fuck yeah I can't play the game yet hey buddy you know that's pretty fucked up because I don't have a crucifix Gary lied to us when you see it run Gary you piece of shit Liar! This wasn't here before. Come? It was a lie. <gasps> oh, dude. Oh my god, that's if that's incredible. There's a cooldown on it, though. Wait, I was on... Oh. I was on the fourth floor? Someone in chat, chat goes, Oh, this trope! This trope sucks! Come. I'm I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. <gasps> Wait a minute. He left? Bro. I can't leave. What do you want from me? Fuck. I'm menstruating, dude. What am I supposed to do in there? How did I get fucking bleeding? How am I bleeding, dude? That was a flashback to what? Go the stairs under the table. I forgot about the stairs under the table, dude. Forgot about the stairs upon the table. Dude. Wait a minute. This isn't the this isn't the right room. Wrong apartment. Here you go, create another table. Yep.
That was System of a Down. I remember when I was in high school. The rumor was that that song was about 9-11. That song is definitely not about 9-11. And then like the, the meme or like the, 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 the stupid thing was that like every System of a Down song was about 9-11. I like that theory. It is now. Mike, the closed room is now opened. What the fuck are you talking about, guys? That's a sad and, and dumb theory. Inside 3B. Guys, how many times? There's nothing in 3B, guys. The, the door up at the top? We went in there already. It was fucking nothing. The guy was in there. You don't remember? It was fake. It was fake. Um, come? Priest cop. <laughs> Priest cup? There's a hole in the fucking wall, dude. What? Come? Cock? Uh, uh, I'm bleeding again. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Do I go back in there or what? Like, do I need to be in there? What? What is it? I do need to be in there. He was like a bird man. He had a beak. He was like a beak man. He was like a bird person. All right, let's just like... Fuck you, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, because they're not noticing the flash, right? Dude. It's a pit. Um. Tinnitus simulator. Yeah. That was like Michael's uh, pit in the, in the last chapter, right? He had a pit where he was like dragging people. That wasn't Michael. Who was that? It was like the sewer demon or whatever. The La Critora. Fuck you. Here we go. Here we go, dude. I'm dead. Come. No, go the other way, man. Get out of here, man. Just go the get, get run. I can't do anything. Bro. <laughs> Velvetini, thank you for 31 months. Mike forgot the knife. Is it okay? No, he didn't shut up. Everything I'm doing good? This is it? He can do the knife after. Oh, okay. Man, am I like the last person on earth to fucking play this? Holy shit. Like every single one of you have played this. Alright, there's men at the exit. I can't leave. Dude, now... We go in the basement and use the camera to, like, fuck with that guy down there, right? Mike, this shitty pixel art game was more anticipated than having sex. Shit, here we go. There's my cross. Oh, this is going to be so fucked up, bro.
And then the power comes back on. As soon as I pick up the cross. It's pretty suspicious if you ask me. That appears to be a mask. We're going to exercise it. It's a chat emoji, dude. Oh, it removed part of the seal. The other half of the seal is the knife. That was why that, that like blood on the wall had the mask and the knife in it. My beloved Gary. Alas, the mask is already... My beloved Gary. Alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. <laughs> Look for me in the unseen world if you dare. SpongeBob. I tried. I tried, bro. Eat shit, no. Dude, the... Dude, the fire? Come on, dude. Okay. Use the cross. It didn't work on him. He didn't care. They're going to make me look at this every time now. Danger laundromat in the house. It's it's uh, it's an apartment building, dude. You know my secret. Oh yeah, what is it? D -d -d Dude, what? Dude, what? It's a mini battle. You were unlucky. All right. You are still secretly scared of witches. I don't care about them anymore. I'm not I'm not scared of them. I mean like you should be scared of witches. Like realistically. Betrayer. I think you want to let him get a little closer to you because if you do, you can do more damage to him. Because he's like within range of the... What'd he say? You're in range of the crucifix or whatever? You know? Alright, so he's dead. You belong to her, he said. Nah, -uh, I don't belong to nobody. I'm MGTOW. Michaels that go their own way. Now we go up to the poop knife? Alright. The scripted loss, guys. He's not a bird man. He's got a hole in his face. He's got like a gussy. Holy shit. Wait, I'm like this? Is this me for real? What What the f- He had like a vagina mouth? Don't worry about it. Bad ending locked in. All right, man. So, so what what floor was the knife? Like, I think I want to say the fourth one. It was the sec. It was the second floor. We're gonna take the stairs because um, it's just good. It's good for you. You know.
Hey, Brave Robin. You want me to play Yokai Watch instead of Pokemon? Maybe. But I think, you know, like... I'm just gonna not stream... I'm just gonna not stream anything. This did not have blood on it before, right? No, the... The one that, the one that I'm gonna stream is, is Pal World. Yeah. That's the one. That's where it's at. Pal World, dude. Sazabi said, stream yourself sucking me off. Time him out. It's going to be awful. Dude, I, I think that Pal World is going to be jank dog shit. But in like the best possible way. Right? Hey, Zeebs. Thanks for, thanks for 19 months, bud. He said, Mike, before I started watching your streams, I mainly watched Vinny. And while I absolutely love your streams, switching from Vinny to you is like switching from pot to crystal meth. You know, first of all, you don't, you don't have, you don't have to switch uh, like from one person or the other, like. Because it's it's not like you, you can only watch one streamer forever. Like I don't know what that means. Switch, you know. It's... Yeah, you do. You you definitely don't. Like you can fucking watch more than one streamer. Like, I don't know what that means. Switch from me. For switch from Vinny to me. Why are you switching? Just watch watch both at the same all right probably not at the same time but realistically it's not like well i watch this guy now so i can never watch that guy again like what the fuck are you talking about what? brothers and sisters praise the on speak and also I, is, is this is some kind of insult in there i, I don't know I, I'm, I'm i'm fucking crystal meth i'm crystal meth apparently If we're on at the same time, then you can just, I guess, watch the VOD of the, of the person that, you know, you chose not to watch. VODs exist, right? Joel, yeah, what's Joel in this scenario? Cocaine? There's no time for VODs. You know, I, I guess that's a point. Like, most people, you know, genuinely only have room... The time room. Time to watch, like, one streamer or, or something, you know? Um. Because they gotta, you know. Gotta work and shit. Have lives and shit. Um. And when you consider, like, all of the content that's being made on this website right now. The fact that you guys would, would be here is kind of insane. And... It's humbling. Break his back! I'll fuck his ass! I'll make him humble! You know, like that, like that's... Means a lot, guys. You know, I mean, like, forget, you know... You, you know, these people that we're talking about. Like, forget Vinny, Joel, like... There's thousands, mil hundreds of thousands of people that you could be watching instead of this, and you chose me. Like, I don't know, that really means a lot, guys. Thank you. Um, Obviously, I know that me and, and, you know, obviously Rev2 and Limes and everybody, the whole Vine Sauce group, obviously share a lot of the same audience. So what I try to do is, like, I try to not... I try to avoid being live at the same time as them, like, as much as I can. Just because it's probably not good f for either person, in, in, in a sense. But, like, you know, what are you going to do it all the time? Can't do it all the time. 
you know can't do it all the fucking time guys um but i i tr i try to yeah i try to avoid i try to avoid like stepping on them i, I the word is try guys so we're talking about like also what what streamer but again thank you for watching it, whatever that was the point what streamer is what drug and an overwhelming majority of people in chat they said that Joel is Jenkum which is amazing Fregton, he says, when people get here, they become too confused and brain damaged to remember how to leave. That's the that's the strat. That's the that's the strategy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um. Hey, Lizzie, it was a treat to hear you play drums to Interplanetary Spark. Interplanetary Spark was there, There's that 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 fucking break section. I, I still didn't figure out how to play that I still want to try to figure out how to play that like I'm gonna if I do that again, I'm gonna try to play that song again Yeah I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna try to get that. Like, I guess, like, I, it bothers me that I couldn't figure out what was happening in that little break section. Anyway, um, back to the game. Uh, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive, but he has put his seal over the vessel's door. This may be Tiffany's doing. But it may also be a test of our faith. Do not cease to pray. Swallow your pills. You may have twice as many as normal as a treat. Seal yourselves in with bricks and mortar. If that so-called priest shows up, Take him and eviscerate him over the altar. Preferably still alive. Gary loves you. Love you too, Gary. Double compilled. Priest cop. Was it a porno? It was suggestive. So now we could go up to the floor that had the the the, the door with the, the seal on it. Problem is, I don't remember what floor that was. Five? Time for the elevator, friend? It's always time for elevator, friend. Yeah, here we go. That was the door. That was the thing. What was in here again? Oh, I was the bathroom, right? Okay. You're too slow. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. Well, I'm dead. Lisa, you're tearing me apart, literally. Balls stomped. 
Someone in chat said there's a gimmick to this fight that's easy to miss. Come on, Lisa, stop messing around. Oh, you are really are not, aren't Lisa, huh? Come. They go into the into the fellas. Holy fucking balls, dude! Fight it, John. John, you killed Lisa, John. Bed and locked. Guys, I did not hit her. I did not hit her, guys. I did not. I did not do it. If I reload, though, where does it start from? I have to do, like, the entire apartment building over again? Apparently, you get locked into an ending if, if, if that happens. So we're going to re reboot the game. I force quit, and I'm going to reboot the game. It'll start me at the start of the fight. If this doesn't start me at the start of the fight, I'm going to end the stream and go take a shit. Okay. On you. On you. On your body. You're lucky, chat. So what do you do? You exercise the demon out of Lisa, right? It works. You get the three three demon. He splits up. Goes into three different things. He's in this one. There's like two fake ones, I think. He went back in- son of a bitch! There's like fake ones, right? That shouldn't have happened. Do you know that you- you can't control John? Okay, he walks right into her and immediately kills her. You can't let that happen to you. There's no fighting it. Like, that's... It's over when, when that happens. You have to mesh. The real one is the one that moves the fastest. Lisa, please. Alright. This one moved the fastest, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, so we, this is gonna happen again. He's gonna do that again. This one, I believe, moved the fastest. That was a real tip. Good tip. How many times are we going to do this dance? That was a very important tip. I don't know which one moved the fastest. Was it this one? Yes, it was. Yo, stay away from Lisa, please. Come? Oh, that was fucking horse shit. Dude, Lisa fucking ate too many Fentoritos. Mm. 
I gotta say, I, I love the concept of like a game where it, there's one button that does anything. When did Mike play chapter one and two? Last night, Nero. Last night. Was it this one? Was it this one? It sure was, guys. Okay, that you you can mash. You can mash. It was this one. Fuck, dude. I barely did any damage to him. John go in silly mode. He was born in silly mode, dude. It was this one. It wasn't. Cock. Oh, bullshit! Guys, the mashing did nothing! Hey, Dior, thanks for six months. The mashing did... Dick. It did... Fuck all. Thrifty Armpit thinks that Erdorf buffed this boss. Erdorf was in, was in chat last night. It was cool. Devin chat was real. It wasn't it wasn't a meme. It actually happened. Although I mean I guess somebody could just make a Twitch name Erdorf and not be them, but I feel like it was them. So that happened. Erdorf does have a Twitch. Okay. So he, he streamed from that that account. That's how you know that that's him. Bullshit. He gets around. Okay. It was this one. Hey, Ryan, thanks for uh, five months, buddy. I feel like it was bot bottom right. And I'm right. Dude, leave her alone. I think it's awfully cool of a dev to be like actually going and I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucking gonna kill her. Actually going. Why isn't she fucking running? Run! Going into um, streamers' Twitch channels and being like, hey, thanks for playing my game. I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know who never did that? Ed McMuffin never did that. Played this dude's game thousands and thousands of hours. You know how many copies of that game I probably sold for that guy? How many people here bought Isaac because of my streams? Just saying. Um, Mike, Ed McMuffin once came here to c called you a racial slur and got banned. I don't think that happened, dude.
Ed McMillan hates streamers. All right, so I, I have to pay attention to this, right? Yeah, she needed a cigarette after that. He runs the place. Holy shit. John shooting the shot, chat. John shot his he sh he shot his shot to shoot his load. Now you can play the elevator game. I don't have to worry about. I sense another demonic seal was broken somewhere beyond. Th this uh, elevator game is optional, though, right? Like I don't actually have to do this. She seems pretty chill after being possessed. Yeah. You, I could leave this apartment building right now and not do the elevator thing. Did you just go... So we're going to start over. We're going to go to floor one. And then we got to go to four. Two and then six. Two. And then six. So I guess I'm going to um, try to finish uh, Metal Gear Solid tomorrow night. For anybody who's looking for that. And then like frankly. Um, I'm never going to play another video game after after that. Nah, I was never going to play another video game again. Okay. One, four, two. Did we go? So this is six. So what? I just leave now? What, what, nothing happened. I expect something to happen. You heard it here, folks. No frontiers. No Delta Rune Chapter 3. Fuck Delta Rune and fuck Toby Fox. No, I'm so cool. I speak Japanese. I can play every instrument. Shut up. Fucking nerd. Done with that shit. Why didn't anything happen, guys? Because you have to do the second half. Two, ten, five, one. My, how dare people be more successful and happier than me? Guys, I'm joking about, about Toby Fox. Are you fucking kidding me? That wasn't an obvious joke for you guys? Jesus Christ. 
Well, you thought I was serious about never playing a video game again? I, I, you guys gotta be kidding me. One. You have no tell. I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm going to say I'm never playing a video game again. That wasn't a tell? I mean, dude, it's, again, that was the end of the code. Nothing happened. The elevator took me to 10? Timmy, no. Dude, this is like a f fake floor. John, run faster. John, you gotta lay off the communion wafers, buddy. You are getting too fucking too slow, dude. Guys, I think we lost Timmy. This isn't real. We're never going to get him. Well, we tried. Wow, I can't believe Mike is an ableist scumbag. Me neither. Go up. Go the other way. Let's save the game. Is that a boob? My God, enemy, is that you? She sounds like a Vuvuzela. How did she like... Made a b her own head into a banana peel? How did she make her own bed head into a banana peel? I would. I'd still hit it. I'd still hit it. I'd still hit it. Is is he like okay? Wait, what? I love the visual indication that like I'm doing literally anything when I when I use the crucifix. So I, he's he's probably invulnerable during that. So you can skip this boss fight entirely if you don't play the elevator game? Interesting. 
these are all optional bo every boss fight is optional that doesn't sound right why would you want to though y you wouldn't get the fuck out of here The baby boss was optional. The baby boss was... Oh, right, because I had to do the thing where I got in the gurney and went up into the fucking... Yeah, you, you wouldn't act obviously want to skip any of these. Because that, you know, that's content, dude. That's your content right there. Bullets won't work, John. Mike, make this simp touch grass. I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding, like, what the fuck this is. Like, it, there's like a, a... The demon is like a... Big, like, spider fella co coming out. Of her fucking banana peel head? I can't believe she became a banana peel. How, again, how do you do that to your own head? Fuck that. He like telefragged me, dude? Almost? John's been through a lot of shit, man. It's almost not fair. Like, how many demons is he going to have to exercise, dude? Like, when is this going to become someone else's problem? He puts up with a lot of shit, John, you know? This thing's got to be close to death. It's gotta be. Here we go. She cut off her own head. It's in the basement with the mask. I think the ritual knife, since it was bloody, the demon grew from her neck stump. Yeah, but how do you cut your own head off? But she didn't cut her own head off. She made it into a banana peel. <clears throat> like you saw, she had a banana peel head. I leave? Bitch. There was like a pixel between like me have well the game saves when you leave the room they don't make so if it did kill me i wouldn't have had to have done the boss fight again which would have been like extra scummy you know what i said to her i was like i rebuke your mama when the sun don't shine that's what that's what i should be saying every time i hold that crucifix op uh, up to something i rebuke your mama when the sun don't shine like can we mod the game to have that like every time you press the space bar that sound effect plays I rebuke your mama when the sun don't shine. Dude, imagine a, like a version of this game where all the all the dialogue is replaced with like Pastor Manning dialogue and like replace the, the sprite with, with like, you know, Pastor Manning. And we take all of his quotes and like bit crush them and put them into the game for all like all of John's dialogue. Get Erdorf to make an official Pastor Manning mod. <laughs> Apparently, Erdorf once made a meme version of one of his games for Joel. Get the fuck out of here. Well, like... 
like a special chapter for Manning. Like imagine it's like, you know, you know, he gets in the car and he starts re reciting the prayer where he's like, I will say this of the Lord. He is my, sh my, my shepherd through dark pastures or whatever the fuck. But he just gets in the car and he's like, semen, Starbucks, mammary glands, testicle glands, semen. Like he just says that instead. We, dude, that'd be so good. Come on. And they do put it in there. But, bit, but like bit crushed and everything. <laughs> Demonic semen demons. And Pastor Manning has to save the day. Bit crushed people tend to like it. It was somebody else named Torpal Duke. Oh, okay, okay. Torpal Duke. One of the boss fights is the Starbucks mermaid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Manning version. Oh, I love this idea. Holy shit. Oh, that's so good. Are you kidding me? Map a soundboard shortcut to the crucifix button. It is going to be like, it's be too annoying. Well done, priest. You wasted another day aiding a worthless soul. And you got rid of Tiffany for me. Are you sure you know whose side you're on? We'll find out soon enough. Remember, Gary loves you. Release the Manning cut. What was that? Did you see that? There was something, right? Like... A crucifix, dude? Why do I feel like this is a clue to something? Somehow. Like, what if... What if I, I do it, like, right here? In the middle of the room. You know what I mean? There's like buildings around. They're in the shape of the Lost comic. John is Batman. That was Gotham with the bat signal over it. I don't think we, we get to save Timmy. But I don't know. Timmy seems like he's alright with that. There are some secrets that people haven't found yet in chapter 3. According to who? My mom, someone said. Okay. Damnatio memori. Don't get in that hole, you asshole. Oh my god. It, hold up. You jump in the hole and then you and then you go into another elevator so there's just elevators all the way down the hole takes you to floor set this is floor seven I don't understand how jumping through the hole in the floor of the elevator is taking you to another elevator underneath it. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? So there's just like a stack of elevators in the fucking elevator shaft? Like, what are you... Th what? The chain of elevators. Well, that's the hell of a thing, huh? Holy fuck. What have I done? He promised me so much. 
I just want to see my little boy again. The replacement is almost fully formed. Just a few more bodies. That's all like meat down there. That was Timmy's fucking body, dude. There's the poop knife. Yo, this looks like where Nathan's the, turns the gorillas into hot dogs. Remember that? Alright, so floor 7 turned out to be, um... Kind of cringe. That's the whole floor, that's it. Timmy fucking died. Uh, Timmy was dead to begin with, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't, um... I wouldn't rent here, guys. The note was from Timmy's mom. His mom... Her name was, like, Debbie. So Debbie sacrificed her own child to Gary? Yo, Timmy... Right, if, 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 this, if this thing didn't kill Timmy... He would have died from something stupid anyway. Like choking on water. Or like a peanut. Like looking at a peanut would have killed him. He died the previous Halloween. He didn't drink the thick water. He had non-keto candy and died. He saw a, a, a witch decoration and, and cried so hard he fucking died. Hey, Carlo. Today, today is Dia de los Muertos. Is that real? Timmy got fentanyl for Halloween. He got a... He got a... Uh, running uh, instance of doom in his Snickers bar and died. He choked on doom in his candy bar. Fentatitos. For Halloween. Chicky, chicky, chee, chicky, chee. I don't gotta give you a fuck of this shit to get the fuck off of my porch. Um. Yeah, happy day of the dead, everybody. If you are, um. Celebrating that or whatever. It's pretty cool. A couple of GameStops were making ofrendas for dead video game characters, and I didn't know how to feel about it. Were you offended by it? If you say minus two, you are a loser. You're a loser. You're a loser. Um, hold on. Timmy ate too much microplastics from his butterfingers and died. <laughs> I don't even know what an ofrenda is. Elgi and Ponga una ofrenda para lil fella, Sedge. Mike, can I put a picture of you up on my ofrenda to represent your dead stale jokes? 
I know what it is. I figured out what it is. It's offerings. I know what it is. I said I told him I don't need your offerings. Keep your offerings. Eddie Matt said, hey, comeme el culo. Comeme? I don't like my car. I'm going to steal this one instead. I want one of these. My car is, is lame. That's the Thanos truck? It is. <laughs> it's the Thanos truck. I got an achievement called Rent and Utilities Due Friday. Okay, so this is something. And we're back in the in the flashback, I guess. She's right there. You think you could hide from me? Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, she already went upstairs and is, is killing her parents as we speak. She's up there killing them as we speak, dude. Yeah. And now John is overcome with remorse because, like, he feels like he's he, it's his fault. Mr. and Mrs. Martin. He feels like it, it's his fault. Classic Amy. <laughs> Classic Amy. Bob's glasses. Oh, no. Bob's stylish shades. No way. She is with me. Check the photo. Bob's drip gun. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, there was a different color cross in the mirror. It was weird. There's a red frame photo. You talking about this? Ooh, yeah. It's like when I used to draw wieners in everybody's mouth in my in my uh, high school textbooks. Classic Amy. John should have tried gut punching the uterus. Yeah, cool. The parents should have played stumble guys. They would have known what to do. Kahlo, thank you so much um, for eight months of support. I really appreciate it, bud. Thank you. Classic Amy. I don't remember anything future. Future. I mean, I remember what was in there. The the the, the fucking ki like the kids' room was in there with all the toys. I don't remember anything futher. <laughs> Mother futher. The duck is changed. Sweat frog. Guys, we have nodders now. I think. Yeah, we ha yeah. There's nodders. We got nodders. Fuck nodders. I rebuke your mama when the sun don't shine. I rebuke your mama when the sun don't shine. 
I rebuke your mama where the sun don't shine. I rebuke your mama where the sun don't shine. I rebuke your mama where the sun don't shine. Hold on. I rebuke your mama where the sun don't shine. I rebuke your mama where the sun don't shine. Who? Now I have to remember another character? Listen to the listen to this this chat because the because I did the Pastor Manning thing. Look look listen listen to the comments, right? Cringe. It wasn't funny the first time pug. Mike is replaying it in hopes that a chat member will laugh. Guys, suck my cock. Suck my fucking actual cock. Are you kidding me? Suck my dick. Fuck you. People are saying that the, the uh, game is quiet. Has that been an issue all night? Time and location, please. One guy. No, I I, I feel like it might have been. All right, did, let me see if, if this fixed it. Mr. Martin? The flashback is in particular is quieter than the rest of the game. Uh, one day until the profane Sabbath. We're about to get profane up in here, boys. Who's ready to get fucking profane? Yo, I got profane with your mother last night. What does that mean? That means I jizzed all over her face. No cap. Good for her. <laughs> That's so Cap Jr. Now, Bobby, listen here. It's only one day until the propane Sabbath. We've got to get ready to sell everybody propane and propane accessories. Knowledge for the idiot. The idiot. No, listen, listen to this comment. Knowledge for the idoit. Idoit. Afraid of witches. At least this idiot knows how to spell idiot. Fucking asshole. In this level, you will eventually come. Knowledge for the idoit. Afraid of witches. In this level, you will eventually come. In Night City, you will eventually come. Across a statue in the middle of a room with hallways on the left and the right. If you go in between these rooms and continue to look at the paintings that are in the middle, doing this will eventually spawn the final secret demon for the true ending. Okay. You won't last five minutes. These ghosts suck at giving blowjobs eventually. Oh, these are not the Dan Aykroyd ghosts then. 
John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If they and Jason are there... Jason! You can bet that is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not, Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. Okay. Jason! Negging plus good guidance. Oh, they're, they're so fucking, like, emotionally abusive to me. It's like, it's just really fucked. Negging plus good guidance. This chat is wild, they said. Punstar, I, I think Cyberpunk, um... I, I do want to play it eventually, but I'm going to wait till the DLC drops, I think. Kill? Alright, this is... Gary loves you, Gary loves you, Gary loves you. Holy shit. Deltarune Chapter 2, everybody. Toby Fox is a hack! A martini? Dude, I want a martini. Shake it, not stirred. Duck? Sands? Dude, I told you! It's the <laughs> Deltarune on the. <laughs> Deltarune chapter. Chapter, uh. Chapter 3. I fucked up. Chapter 3. Deltarune chapter 3. I'm, I'm fucking up, like. All the jokes tonight, that's okay. They're not funny anyway. Nobody's laughing at them. As Chad is so eager to, to point out. That was Papyrus. Same shit. What a particularly, like, cunty flavor of chat. Mike, your jokes aren't funny. Stop making them. Instead of just being like this, instead of just leaving, you know, like, fuck. Eyeball. Mike, this stream is boring. Put porn on. Was that a minion? They're gonna summon Malthus. That looked like a minion. You saw that? Malfeth. You never go ass to mouth, guys. Never go ass to mouth. You gotta go mouth ass. Good night, Zeebs. Thanks for being here, buddy. He looked like the minion with the with the one eyeball, you yeah. know. S to S S to S works too. I don't understand what you're talking you're talking about like mashing your asshole against like somebody else's asshole? Jeremiah, he says, the only thing I have laughed at so far in this stream was the joke of the kid dying from fentanyl. You know why? Because obviously you you simp for this game and you're getting your little your little pee pee hurt because I keep talking over it, making jokes about it and like fucking trying to have trying to, I don't know, stream. And you just want to fucking sit here and you just want to watch me play the fucking game. You see, so you're, you're, you're trying to backseat me through the fucking game at like mock speed. You don't want me to fucking pause. You don't want me to talk about anything that has nothing to do with the game. Of course, you're not going to fucking laugh or find anything amusing because you're all about the business. You're, you're just sitting here like, like fucking ba backseating me so fucking hard. 
Because you just want to be like pedantic about this fucking game. I got your number, motherfucker. If you want to fucking play, play the game yourself, motherfucker, at that point. Holy fuck. Dude, there's cops at the school. Oh, man. Man, that's kind of sweat froggy, huh? Well, this must be the US, don't I, mate? <laughs> must be in the US, don't I, mate? <laughs> Top of the morning, too, yep. A riddle, priest. How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me, and I'll show you how. Okay. The tunnels await. Alright, that was a right good one, bruv. You just show him, bruv. Let's go play Banjo Kazooie. From Rare, a wonderful, talented studio of video game developers. Ben, age six. Okay. Cool. And watch Babe Station. Gary loves us. Oh my god. Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled. An offering to the master of the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. Remember, you're stupid if you didn't get Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> If you don't get Donkey Kong Country for the NES, you are stupid. Now, I know that's harsh, but it is the truth. Remember that? What did I say? The SNES? Yeah. If you don't buy this game, you are stupid and deserve to die. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. Okay. I like how the alphabet like slowly like turns into runes like or like satanic runes as it moves to the to the right. The children children yearn for hell. Mason, age six. Mason! Guys, there's gonna be a bunch of dead kids in here. It's gonna be fucked up. But it's okay because they're gonna be pixels. My dream. Look at that demon in the window. He's like... Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Uncle Earl. Uncle Ar Uncle Earl is he's fishing and there's like a there's a like a monster underneath the boat. It's a fucking monster give, giving the kid a martini? What's up with the fucking martinis, guys? It was a reference to another game. It felt so specific, like it had to be something like that, right? Maybe they were giving them, like, juice for a ritual sac sacrifice or something? <laughs> oh 
my god, that's so good. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. There's a martini, a moon, a, a star, and a dove. Okay. All right. So Jeremiah said, look at all the fucking, look at all the art on the walls or mul multiple times or say, so. he said, look at all the, I was going to look at all the art anyway. Right. All right. So definitely don't go out that door. He said, look at all these paintings. Look at that. Okay. Yo, is, is that John at the bottom? Farts, age seven. That's a fucking bionicle, dude. Our family. John Ultra Kill? I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa, what is that? Fat tits over there? Thanks, Satin. What is the green stuff? Money? What is <laughs> Thanks, Satin. Oh, you're welcome. Yo. No, Elon, don't buy Twitter. No, it's not worth it. It's going to eat your face. Drawn by Elon, age 54. What am I looking at? Like, what is that? And it's, it's like switching rooms. Twitter will eat him alive. He just doesn't know it yet. Of course, then he'll have to act like it didn't. But that website's gonna ruin that man's life. It's gonna be really funny. I mean, like, I don't know about ruining his life. It'd be pretty hard to ruin his life. But that, that, that buying that website is gonna, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna fuck him over. It's gonna, it's gonna fuck him over bad. He's gonna, he's gonna really regret doing that. He already does. Apparently, he couldn't not buy it because he signed something and was, like, forced into buying it. Can't wait for him to concede failure. He's never going to concede failure, but you're going to get to watch him struggle. I hope it collapses. It might. It might kill Twitter. Okay, I need to read this again because this is actually, like, Relevant, right? A lot of his antics were get, trying, trying to get out of having to buy it. Yeah. He's got no fucking idea what he's doing. And then he went and fired everybody who did. Amazing. They didn't know either. Yeah, but they had years of experience. He has zero experience with a with a fucking you know a social media network. Like, what business does he have being involved in a social media network? He make he makes cars. He doesn't even do that. What? Gutsy Crow says that they're going to be happy as long as Twitter is nuked. Watching politicians argue like children with a 500 character limit was like living life in a shitty George Orwell knockoff. 1986. Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter chalice is filled, an offering to the master in the unseen world. 
Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. The fuck is that sound? So the chalice is blue. Right? Okay, I think that I think this one is not relevant to anything. The these paintings are are relevant. The moon. Okay. I don't think this one's relevant. I don't believe this one's relevant. This one is obviously relevant. It's pink, all right? But in the other room, it's blue. But in here, it's pink. Go out the front door for an Easter egg. You missed it. I mean... The, the, other, the other one is relevant because it's the bird eating Elon's face. I just don't know what the hell I, I'm, I'm kind of not I'm not figuring this out Mike you have to stop thinking okay that should be pretty easy you can the moon was orange The bird was blue. Uh, was that? That, it was that color right there. Oh, uh, well, because it was Twitter. And apparently, there was a painting with the star on it, but I really remember seeing the star. Who is Gary? Why does he love me? Uh, because, because you deserve it. You're worthy of love from Gary. I think these maybe just like yellow. You are worthy of love. It's actually above the blood alphabet room. Oh, okay. It's red. Okay. Yeah, red. Did the whole fucking thing just reset, dude? Why did it do that? Because I left the room? Skill issue. Shut up! This is where it lives. Ah, some spooky Halloween decorations, man. Can't leave. I don't know if I can take a demon named Gary seriously. Uh-oh, what's that? If you are reading this, then congratulations! You are on your way to experiencing the wonders of our unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend. Gary, a normal human being just like you and me. As a tier one sub, you are just beginning your unspeakable journey to eventually see what Gary sees and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death, reserved for only the most worthy. To find out if you are a vessel, remember to attend meetings of the Chaproni Mike stream uh, five times a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. 
Do not ever ask what is behind his pants in the basement of the cum of, of Dr. Stinky's cum lab. Eternal order of the second death. Okay. She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Yamada? Y Yamada? Was Dr. Stinky's cum lab the Animal Crossing house? Yes. Six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Gaster. I rebuke your mama when the sun don't shine. Guys, I think we fucked up. Get in that hole, boy! Wasn't that the thing you fought in two? Michael? No, that's not Michael. Michael's dead. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pieta Carota. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving embrace of Et Mater. Toe Mater Towing Company at your service. I tried not to. I tried not to, guys. I tried not to. <laughs> Toe Mater Towing Company at your service. Dude, it's a statue of, of like somebody being lovingly held by Mater from Cars. Like, dude, what if this is a cult that worships Mater? Honestly, best. The Mater Mater. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the Save family. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Like right now. Beautiful. They support artists. They gotta be the good guys. All right, so no thanks. Cars Two is their favorite movie. Best. Are they gonna get back up like Reed Dead's or something? Salsa contest? Dude, you can make him say like anything you want. Like it's 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 a total auditory like Rorschach test. When does he die? Sausage bucket? Sausamogus. Monster fucker? I like salsa contest. That sounds fun, dude. Like getting to try all the different salsas. Like mango salsa. Pineapple salsa. Chipotle salsa. Dude. 
Dude, shrimp salsa. He was saying Bananarama. Salsa contest. I love salsa contest, dude. If you are reading this, congratulations. You have been officially granted Tier 2 status in the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Upon crossing the threshold from Tier 1 to Tier 2, your life as a sub will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of rooms, or experience feelings of lost time when watching streams. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your dick. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in this new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Man, they're selling it so well. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Gary loves you. It's like an MLM. Except they bend your toes backwards too. Salsa contest. Salsa contest. Salsa contest. Salsa contest. Ah, uh, chess. A simple game for simple men. Doesn't even have fog of war. What a joke. It's a puzzle. Five seats in the north facing west. Five in the south facing east. So like the top half of the board. Tell me I can move these chairs around. Bale giveth favor. The low seats are made high. Or dog stirreth his pot full of sinners. The seats revolve. What's or dog? Andros soweth discord. East and west trade places. Okay, dude. Andros from Star Fox. Okay, so here's so this is the one that we need, right? Five seats in the north in the top half facing left. And five on the bottom half facing east. Basically we're we're separating the board like Five facing left and five facing east. Actual demon lore? Why do you guys know actual demon lore, you fucking freaks? Yeah, like, which one is who, though? Like, what? Thank God they don't fucking attack you every time you come in here. Bale giveth favor. The low seats are made hard. So Bale will just switch the top half and the bottom half of the board. It sounds like. Which we might need. Are you Bale? I don't fucking know. This is going to be very confusing. Kinda doesn't matter. Well, you gotta know which is which. Chat thinks that playing SMT means a degree in demonology. Would east be right and west be left? Why, why would it? Like you're saying from John's perspective? What? Dude. No! Stop it. 
Five seats in the top half of the board facing left. Five in the in the south facing east. So so Fuck man. Uh, this is gonna be very hard for me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm, ha I'm already like so confused. It might be faster to brute force it. I mean, like, if you walk in and out of this room, and you keep doing this, eventually it's gonna work. Excuse me? Excuse me, dude? I got the hot Jenkum injection? Does this smell like chloroform to you? My one weakness, fentanyl. <laughs> I got fenty, dude. The fuck is that? I'm tripping balls. What is that? A dead whale? <laughs> what the fuck? Hits? The skeleton was like, oh, please. John had too much communion wine. Dude, it's a fucking British fox hunt. Now you are ready. It was fox hunt footage. It was dogs ripping apart a fox. By the way, that whole puzzle did nothing and was a trap. I got got. You all knew that too. That's why that one guy was like, just brute force it, Mike. Because I was actually sitting here trying to do it for real. That was the fox from chapter one. This is the Americans' turn to make the joke that that must must be the UK. What was the painting on the wall during that drum stream? That's Van Gogh's um, skull with burning cigarette. I like it. Based. Self-portrait. Happy Halloween. Read what Governor Explosion said. If you rewatch that the, the drug trip while listening to King of Pain by the police, it's the lyrics animated. Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. Shut right the fuck up. That would be the coolest thing in the world if, if, if that's true. Oh my god, it is. <gasps> Holy shit, that's, am that's so cool. That's so cool. Are you kidding me? I wonder why. I wonder fuck I want I wonder I wonder why. It, it's not it's not even it's not even fucking uh, uh, like ro uh, like implying it. 
There's a little black spot on the sun. Yeah, we saw that. A black hat caught in a treetop. The flagpole rag. Um. There's a fossil trapped on a high cliff wall. It literally showed that. The dead salmon frozen in a waterfall. A blue whale beached. We saw that. The butterfly in the spider web. The king on the throne with his eyes torn out. A blind man looking f uh, for a shadow of a doubt. Rich man sleeping on a golden bed. A skeleton choking on a crust of bread. I saw the skeleton, but like he wasn't... I didn't see the bread. I thought that was just papyrus having a snack. Some garlic bread from Olive Garden. A red fox torn by a huntsman's pack. A black winged gull with a broken back. Yeah, that's all the fucking... That's incredible. Why? Who figured that out, by the way? Who the fuck, who the fuck figured that out? A black winged gull with his broken back. Simple as. Probably a huge police fan. God, that's so fucking awesome. What the fuck? Why is that awesome? Maybe it's not awesome and I'm, I'm just like easily impressed by things. Sting figured it out. He was in chat earlier. Wait a minute. I know them lyrics. I wrote them lyrics. What the fuck, mate? Me fucking lyrics, mate! Wait a minute! I don't remember anything future. Somebody added me and said, Mike, allow yourself to be happy. I feel like I want to time you out. What, what, are, you, what are you saying that to me for? What? What's going on here? Looks pretty bad. That's the mom? Oh, because I said am I easily amused? But yeah, I guess I'm easily impressed, easily amused by things. Amy strangled her mom with her, her own like intestines or something. Cute. Very cute. God damn you, Gary. There's dad. Looks like the same thing. I love that that puzzle was a jape. That was, that's, that's, it was so like complicated. It felt so real, didn't it? Felt so real. I love that the whole drug drug trip sequence was like so fucking cool, man. It's redundant because if your organs are out of your body, you're dead anyway. Yeah, no, that that's true. Like, as soon as you got cut open to fucking, you know, like you're, you're, you're bleeding out in, in, like, minutes? Probably very quick. You're gonna bleed out before you're gonna get strangled. Right? I mean, I'm not a doctor. Chat, you are. What do you think? What, what's weighing on this, guys? It's unsolvable because one of the chairs will always be wrong. So fucking evil. Yo, John ripped S. Sometimes you have to make a point. It's about making a point, right? If the if an artery isn't severed, you can live to survive this the strangling. Holy fuck! Repent. 
Oh, oh god, um... He's... He's gonna be okay, guys. We can fix him. What did he say? He said, please stop stepping on my intestines? Oh, shit. Sorry, buddy. He said, the holy man. I'm the holy man. He said, John Madden. Oh. Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. And then John walks over and plops his balls on the... On the scale? Dude, satanic glory hole? Do you gotta fucking... <laughs> deliver two as in number two? Like you have to shit on these things? This is the part that, that uh, Jeremiah was talking about. Are they still here or did I... <laughs> did they leave because I was such a cunt to them? <laughs> it's here. All right, well, what do you... What do you... <laughs> well, what do you... What am I supposed to do? Save in the middle first. Okay. You have to look and then leave and then come back and repeat. Well, like, so what? Just like leave and then walk back in? Keep walking back and forth in front of it. Look at the painting and leave. Check the painting each time. It's different. God, what happened? Okay. Don't do it, Mike. I'm already doing it. Alright, I think we may have wanted that to happen. Taco Bell, am I right? <laughs> Yo... I saw this amazing art on Twitter. It was like a man shitting, right? It was it was a, it was a little like cartoon. It, the, the guy's art style looks like Shel Silverstein a little bit. It was a man shitting, like projectile shitting, into a toilet, but he was like being launched like out of the toilet, like being launched away from the toilet with like a sh like a fucking like jet stream of shit. And he said. When he tweet when he tweeted the, the when he tweeted the art, he said, "I got your verification right here." But he was talking about how Elon wants to charge people to be verified on Twitter. Like here, like here's your verification. And it was just a man being launched off the toilet with his like fucking projectile force feces. Okay. So now leave and come back? He was like, yeah, for $20 a month, y y you can get verified. Nobody's gonna do that. Obviously nobody's gonna do that, man. Come on. Why would anybody do that? Fuck you. What, what, are, you t what are you talking about? And then somebody told him that was stupid, so he lowered it to $8. No, no one is going to give you a, a penny to, to fucking be verified. That's not what it's for. It, it's not like, oh, let's pay money so we can be verified. Nobody gives a shit. You know why, you know why verification exists? It's, it's so people know that, like, you're, you are who you say you are. It's, it's like almost a, a fucking, it's a scam. What he's, it's, it's an obvious scam. 
Stephen King said that. Stephen King said, he's a pay. He goes, he goes, you want me to pay to be verified? He said, fuck you. You should be paying me. And Elon responded to it and was like, w w what's wrong with it? And he was like, it's fucking stupid. And so are you. <laughs> Basically, right? Fight the bots by making it... By making it harder for poor people to prove that they're not bots. It's so strange. Here's what... The best take that I saw on it is that, like... Already Elon has proven that he fundamentally doesn't understand what Twitter is. Because, like... He, he's trying to monetize the users of the platform, but the users of the platform aren't his customers. The advertisers are his customers. And all of his little th things that he's planning on doing are going to guarantee that no advertiser ever gives a penny to that website ever again. Right? It's almost like he's fucking stupid. Filthy acolyte. Filthy pay pig. The substance of Gary's influence thro flows through your veins. Calm. Gary's calm flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path you have chosen as a jabroni mic viewer and sub. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and fully let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable. Resist and your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to tier three. Gary loves you. Every streamer probably made this joke, right? There was a Musk simp that replied to, to Stephen King and said, fuck this guy. I'll pay the $20 for him. Fuck this guy like he didn't even know who Stephen King was. Is this the TOS for the fluid swap? Why would anyone, yeah, like, what, why would anyone pay for a blue check mark? It, it's, it's almost like, again, like threatening people. Like, if you don't pay money, we're going to allow people to Im impersonate you. Molomite says the advertising business model is the worst thing to happen to America. It drives big data collection, divisive journalism. So what? So 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 what are you saying? Are you, are you saying like like in in other words, good fuck the advertisers? Because I I want to know how you think. So so, you think people are gonna pay the twenty dollars to the point where Twitter isn't gonna need the advertisers? Like, is that what you think is going to happen? Some people will. A very small amount of people will. A very small amount of people will do that. I'm saying in general, I would prefer prescription subscription services. You, you, you are onto something. Like that. That's there's validity in what you're saying. Absolutely, but like. Do you really think that that's what's going to happen? Like, we're talking about Twitter. Like, you think that that's how that's going to go down? Because it's not. Okay, listen. We, we looked at these paintings. Like, numerous times. Well, you know, you know what'll happen, right? Is like, you know, oh, subscription services. This is so cool. And then you'll just end up. Paying a subscription and also being advertised to. You know what I'm saying? Like. Sound familiar? Netflix moment? Twitch moment eventually? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, 
I'm gonna go over here. Weren't you supposed to do some kind of thing today for that? I did a sponsored stream earlier tonight. Yeah, when I started the stream, I did I I streamed a a, a game for money, and I think I'm I'm gonna do it again. If if you if you wanted to see it, I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it again tomorrow. Oh, hey. Uh, what's going on here? Hi. Holy fuck. The meatballs are mad? Angry meatballs. Guy, am I, am I good because I did the thing with the paintings? Or am I, am I like, am I, is that okay? Like, are we done with that? It's Mammon? Mammon Reglands. That's the boss. Oh, okay. We, okay, this is mission accomplished. Mammon. He's a real Mammoni. Look at this a big Mammoni. What is that symbol that's flashing? That's really gross. Jesus. I rebuke your mama when a sun don't shine. Sorry, I know that's not funny. Didn't you also have an announcement? I made it. You aren't paying attention. Should have paid attention. I wasn't here. Well, you should have been here. Now you don't get to know what the announcement was. Yeah. How about that? Should have been here. The announcement is we're doing another stream of, Ch of Conscience uh, Charity Drive at the end of November. 20, the 26th and the... What did I tell you? The 25th? I did the, the 26th and the 27th. <clears throat> Jabroni, NFTs, Poggers, not quite. Quad to Estes. Fumilius Italia? That means we could pay for another Miku stream? That means you could pay for another Miku stream. I was thinking about doing a Miku stream for the charity drive, but what I'm now realizing is that I should not do that. I should fucking do the stream and be like, if you guys raise money for this, then I'll do another Miku stream. That's what I should do. Hold, hold Miku hostage. Yeah, that's 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 what we're gonna do. Set the Miku goal for fifty K. Twenty K. Quad Sumus Eritus two. Quad Cumus. Oh, shit. When's the next Minecraft stream? I don't know. Soon. Oh! Oh! Munched. Nom, 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 nom. What we are, you will be, too. That is... That is at the entrance of the catacombs in Paris, right? 
Mike, what you do is make each goal incentive that you will put on a piece of the Miku cosplay. At 10K, you put the outfit on. At 30K, you put the wig on. That is so freaking brilliant. That No, that's it. That's it. That's what we do. So there's a scenario where I wear the outfit with no wig. Makeup at high tier. At the highest tier, I put on a bunch of makeup for it. I get all slutty for you guys. I get all slutty for you guys. Will we get you mewing on the floor again? Only if Joel specifically donates five billion dollars, okay? Nails and makeup? Nails is so annoying though, really. What's up with this guy? Mike, you can walk around him. That's what we're going to do. I don't know. What's a good goal? Like... I want to say 50,000. That's, I don't know. I feel like that's too much. Maybe like 30. I'm going to say it's like, th I, th I think top tier would be like 30. See if you rate, oh, he grabs too? He grabs now? Holy shit. Oh, he's stun locked. He's in the animation. Oh, he's an asshole. He's gonna tickle your butthole. I rebuke your mama when a son don't. Didn't rebuke. Padded brought 50k. If you raise 50k, then I get yeah, then I then I um fake tits. No, can't do that, guys. Can't do that. No, not doing that. No, not doing that. We're not doing that. Do a full finster at at at, at, at fucking <laughs> at two million dollars. What incentive level do you buy a leak for Miku? I should do like drumming with the leaks instead of drumsticks. guy's a clown oh he's grabby he's very handsy then he just runs up to you and fucking eats you and it doesn't matter just leave seriously Five hundred K. Mike commissions Miku art of himself being gay and cute. Okay. I'll figure out something, guys, alright? It's, it's not gonna be like that. It's like Resident Evil, you gotta pick your battles, okay. At 50k, Mike will get a titty reduction surgery so he can be closer to Miku's breast size.
Is this guy coming or? Who will take your tits? Obviously Garfield's gonna take my tits, dude. Who else? I don't like the look of this gloomy wooden table. Why not? Perfectly good table. They got guys in cages out here? This is... This is what these people are doing? What is this fucking thing? Yeah, cross-proof cages, apparently. So yeah, we're gonna do another like yeah, just just two, just two actually like not not even two days. I think it's gonna be like a day and a half basically. So I don't want to set the the goal that high. Um, you know, I want to keep it reasonable. Maybe something closer to like maybe something closer to like twenty k. You know, Feral Roach, thanks for thirteen months. The real question is. The real question is. How do I yeah ra raising money for charity is cool and everything, but how do I weaponize this 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 Miku bullshit to make money for myself as well? That's the real question. What is this? A mirror. Can I fucking help you, son? Oh, he's the other way because it's backwards. No, it's not. Mike, do a charity stream for your wallet. Dude, get the fuck out of here, dude. What's up with this shit on the fucking... I'm so confused, man. It's like, I could see sometimes I'm damaging him. Dude, I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking confused by this. This should be damaging this motherfucker. Why isn't it damaging this motherfucker? And what is this? Fucking thing. What is what is this? What is that? You gotta aim it at the reflection, bro. That that's what I wasn't realizing. You have to aim it at the reflection. See, I thought he was on my side, he was like behind me, but he was in the mirror. The glass is cracking. Weird. Fucking weird. We do like a, like, yeah, a, a, a fucking charity, uh, not, not charity, like, not, the charity for my wallet. What is it? What is it called? Subathon or something. It's every like a hundred dollars. I keep the Miku costume on for like another hour. Or some shit. The glass was there to distract you, to make you lose track of the dude. Sympathon, somebody said. And Mike never got out of the, the, the Miku cosplay. The end. You're full of fucking shit, my dude. Okay, you're full of shit. Let's play red light, green light. Squid game. Well, that didn't work. I, re I reveal your ah. Just leave that fucking guy alone.
Oh, fuck off. Oh, that's such bullshit. No! Fuck this, okay. Ass eaten. It did look like Krampus. Mike did. Book it when you have the stone? No, because he's a lot, he's faster than me. Greed, yeah. God damn it. All right, so I like basically go to the middle of the room and then let him turn around. Stop like, like right here. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's, let's fucking do this. Come on. Right here. Fun fact, if you can read this, you are gay, someone said. Well. <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m., so, um... By the way, I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm gonna try to finish this chapter before I end the stream. I, I think I might be able to... But um, I just want to thank everybody for being here tonight, guys. I, re I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming and watching the stream. And guys, thank you for supporting um, the channel with your subs, your bits, and, and all that, guys. Thank you so much. The gift subs and, and the resubs, guys. Thank you, everybody. Um, and guys, thanks for being here earlier and helping me out with that sponsorship, too. That really... um. That really helps out. That stuff really makes a difference. And if you if you show up for streams like that and you hang out during streams like that, that again makes it so I don't have to take that ad deal or anything. And I could if I could do things like that, I should never have to take any kind of ad deal from Twitch and have to and have to put like, you know, advertisements on the stream. That's really the way that's the way I'm gonna keep this channel ad free, guys. So just, you know, thank you. And if you happen to uh, be new here, check out the links that are going to be in the chat. Um, you know, you got Twitter and, and TikTok and YouTube and uh, and all that all that fun stuff. Um, also, if you want to support the channel, you can find me on Patreon. Find me on uh, TikTok as well. TikTok, Jesus Christ. The Patreon and the, the, the Ko-Fi coffee. I still don't know how to pronounce that. People are choosing to support there as well or instead of uh, Twitch for whatever reason. People have their reasons. So the links to all that shit's in the chat. Uh, thank you, Wisp. And also, yeah, check me out on YouTube. Uh, subscribe. We got the full stream, full, full stream channel. Full screams. Full streams and highlights. And, um... And there's a shorts channel now, which is basically just YouTube with the TikTok flavor, if whatever. It's, I was under the impression it was something I needed to do, so I did it. Can I get your OnlyFans, King? There is no OnlyFans. Hey, Teddies. I joined during the Bug Snacks era. Well, oh, thanks for coming back. Keeping it real. Just go middle. Guys, I'm never going to have an OnlyFans, and I'm going to tell you why. 
because I cannot get over. Um, I I feel disgusting. I don't have enough confidence, body confidence, for an OnlyFans. Um, I'm too disgusting for an OnlyFans. My body's too disgusting. It's too disgusting. Too disgusting. Too gross. What are you afraid of money? Is it is it a meme that Markiplier has a a a, a fucking OnlyFans or that's real? There was like uh, there was this fucking website that was like it was like gay gay news a gay news website or whatever, and the he the headline was like it was like hunky bossy daddy Markiplier starts his own <laughs> fucking OnlyFans account. It was gay news. It was a gay news article or something. Yeah. And they did like the, the fucking headline was super unprofessional. Like whoever wrote that was thirsty for Markiplier's penis, and like just wrote it like super unprofessionally. Gay news. Are they wrong? I don't know. It was just it was so fucking funny. It's like, what are you talking about? Why are you calling him that? Stop. What are you? Oh, go down from the safe statue. Oh, really? It was a but somebody. It was a screenshot I saw on Twitter where people were laughing at the headline. I wasn't reading gay news. You assholes. Fuck. All right, here we go. Time to go to the own the hole. Somebody said. I didn't even get to read that. I mean, maybe we did already. Did might fike? Did did might did might fike the picture boss? Yes, he did. Master of spirits, the body of the mother stayeth suspended beneath the crucible of the the propane Sabbath, Bobby. If thou canst unlock the final secret of the crucible, know ye this. The cross hath the power to weaken the mother. But only someone who is ablaze with purifying fire canst truly destroy her. If thou canst understand these words, thou shalt know the true cost of thy faith. Okay, I just have one question. What the fuck does canst mean? Alright, this is talking about a boss fight. The body of the mother stays suspended beneath the crucible of the profane Sabbath. Okay. If you can... Unlock the final secret of the crucible. No. Kanye West this. The cross has the power to weaken the mother. But only someone who is literally on fire can truly destroy her. If you can understand this, then you know the true cost of your faith. Suck Bafadiz. Thou canst suck both of these nuts. Don't know about canst, but Aki means here. Mike, it's time to go Death Con 3 on the, um, the mother under the crucible. You are now a tier 4 acolyte. Whoa. 
This is when you know you are like give you you're you're completely fin fin domed and pay pigged on every on every fucking every one of their OnlyFans accounts. You have descended beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong body and spirit to Gary. You face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not. Only a little longer and you will experience the second death. Adios, alma perdita. Gary loves you. Alma Perdita. Isn't that Spanish though? That's not Latin. Dude. Garcia is the fucking... Is Gary? Gary see ya. Garcia is Gary, guys. Gary see ya. I'm right. Partake of the dark. Yo, I figured it out. Starbucks has figured it out. A lot of Spanish in this game. Well, I mean, like, you, we were getting notes from, from Father Garcia... That were always like signed. The last line of them was always in Spanish. Where he would say like, Vaya con Dios. Now he's saying, Goodbye lost soul. The only the last line was in Spanish. It's not Latin. That was Spanish. He said, Buenos dias, Monday. <laughs> Alma Perdita is Latin. Yeah, how do you say it in Spanish? The same exact way. Um, It would be Perdida. Alma Perdita was not Latin. Misery fell said, I speak Spanish. So confirm that that was Spanish. It was Spanish, dude. Obviously, the two languages are similar, guys. Yes, it was. The T spelling of Perdita is the, the um, past, um, the past infinitive form of the of the verb conjugated. That's why it had a T on it. Okay, that was the past infinitive. That was why it was spelled with the T, guys. Okay. That's why that was like that, guys. Look at this backrooms type shit. Perdita! The past infinitive participle of the conjugated verb. That's why it is... Oh, that's always spelled with a T. Everybody knows that. Dude. And now I guess, um... What's that sound? Sounds like it's getting louder. We got purple shit on the wall? Looks like there's purple shit on the wall. Oh! A bird? They're cages. These are cages. I thought it was like some shitty looking wallpaper, but they're cages.
And there's men in there. Fuck you. Fell for the classic jump bird twice. What are like any of the sounds in this game? Spooked myself. What the fuck is that, dude? No. Get out of here. No. Holy shit. Wait, we're like outside? What? Someone in chat said this part sucks. No. Oh, fuck off! Shit! Oh, no! That's too many. That's too many guys. Oh, what the hell? What? There's like a wall of men over here? Hold up. A shack? Dude, that's that's fucking Walter White, Saul Goodman, and Mike Ermintrout. Lord Shack. What the? My dearest colleague, Jackoff. Thank you for the letter. I am delighted to hear of the success of your venture in Peeny Sl... Peeny? 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 However, it was not enough to persuade me to join your cause. I have no interest in a crumbling ghost towns or nor government experiments, nor the gibbering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the darkness beneath, between worlds. Such matters are not worthy of my expertise. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you, they were given to me straight from the source. The Antichrist will step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world. This pitiful, fleshy sphere, still in its infancy, yet everlastingly too late to redeem. When the time comes, I hope we may reunite as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love always, Gary. I almost forgot to thank you for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against intruders. It's referencing another game, right guys? Do not redeem. The word redeem was anywhere in that fucking play dusk. I don't like that. <laughs> it's like a giant hot dog, man. It's a soy jack. So this is Gary's crib, dude? I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. That's the connection? What's the connection? Oh, uh, between, the, between the two games. It's a little fella from D Dusk has giant hot dog men. It's like a hot dog mascot, like trying to get you to buy a hot dog. You know? Like the Oscar Mayer, like, mascot. No. We ain't doing that. We're not doing this. Am I lost? It's 
stay on the pets. There's pets. Oh shit. The symbols. The okay. Uh, apparently there's lines on the ground. I know what you're talking about. They're all fucking... Okay, here we go. Wait. Alright, so this is a path. Cool. Okay, so I guess that was over there. Now we want to go over this way. Gary has an affinity for purple people. What's his deal? He's jiggling. You're welcome. What have I done? Oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay. Cool. I did it. I did something. You want to know why that happened? You want to hear the, 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 the ultimate irony of why that happened? Because I was reading chat and somebody said, you have to do this without dying, by the way. And the second that knowledge entered my brain, I slammed my face into one of those monsters. I feel like that fucking shed up there is, is, is useless. I, got, there's no, I don't need to go there for anything. There was nothing in there except that note. I don't have to go back there. It was just a little lore thing, right? Yeah, I don't have to be... So I could, I could just not go back there. We saw it, all right? We saw the lore. It's an Easter cock, somebody said. An Easter egg, bro? And that's where this trail of runes ends. So, I guess we'll leave and uh, try a different path. I will come back this way, maybe. Okay. Go down. Uh. Well, I mean, I did come from this way, but maybe... Okay, now there's nothing this way. All right. And I think it looked like at certain points the path might have like forked a little bit. We definitely have to find another uh! It's all people with like banana heads. Right? They've all been ban banana bananafied. Bananatized? They've undergone bananatization. These chumps have pretty low HP. This feels right. We find another one of those dudes and we, um,. Uh, exercise him, and then we're going to be able to remove the seal fully. Here he is. Well, shit, is there a third thing that I have to do? Or is that, can I go in there now?
chat. Chat chat. having some kind of internet issues. Can you hear me? Is it I don't I don't know what's happening. Can you can you guys hear me? Or? Yes. Wow. That was weird. Like chat was mortis for like like 2 minutes. It for 2 minutes chat didn't move. And then I was like how can no one in this chat say calm for two minutes? Impossible. And then I was like, I was like, okay, maybe they're just, maybe, maybe just chat's like just really dead right now. Like that, that happens. So I asked the question, I was like, can, what, you know, what's happening in the game? And then nobody answered me again for like a full minute. And I'm like, actually starting to get genuinely creeped out because this game is like look at the game too like i'm walking around in the dark and now i'm alone too genuinely fucked me up you didn't cut out at all that was very weird i have no idea what happened i was live the entire time i was freaking out i looked at obs the signal was healthy like i had a green you know light meaning that i had you know i was uploading But it was like, wait, what is what is happening, dude? Twitch just had a little, a little, a little, what we call a fucky wucky, right? A little shitty witty fucky wucky. Yeah, I just kind of like had a bad time. I'm gonna ignore this one. Apparently, like, dude, is that thing gonna fucking gank me? They, it's gone. It fucking damn well better be. Because if you die while you're doing this, you have to do this entire thing over again, am I right? There was a dude back there. Wait a minute. Where the fuck is the path? Where is the path? Where is the path I used to get here? Oh my god. Oh. No. No. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you fucking scumbags. No! Dude, where did the path go? Dude, it just, it just ends right here. No, it doesn't. Oh my god. And then there's- wait, what the fuck are we doing here? Wrong way. How, how are you even seeing anything? You better not. You better not. 
Do you really want to open this door? I think so. You get a dumbass priest to open it for you. Dude, they're fucking headbanging. What do you think they're listening to? I know what they're listening to, guys. They're listening to Seedbat? The twins. That's them, the kids. Jason! Jason! That was Jason and, and what's her name? Jason and Sean? Yo, it's God. Get out of here. This is too much for what do you mean, God? I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. I'm afraid I can't do that, John. I just want to go home. I'll do whatever you want. Just take me away from here. I swear it. Dude, what a cop out Deus Ex Machina. The profane Sabbath. So, like, God saved them? And... So That's Obi Wan Kenobi, dude. It was a flashback? Oh, him talking to God was a flashback? What will you ask about shit? I mean, ask about Gary. Why do we gotta ask about Gary? He's a fucking cult leader. What do, what do we... The injection was the, the, the Fenty. When we got injected with Fenty, bro? Yo, ask where he got those sick Ray-Bans. Mike, look at how baller his glasses are. Ask where he got the sunglasses. I don't know. The game hasn't given me a choice like this, so I don't know what the fuck. Fenty is Rihanna's makeup brand. That's all I think about when you say Fenty. She makes make makeup with fentanyl in it. Mike, open up the console and write sunglasses. We want to know about his cool, his cool sunglasses. 
I don't know. I get. I guess we're gonna ask him about Gary. Okay. What, what injection? It was drugs. He gave us fucking drugs, dude. He injected us with drugs. I am a human being, just like you. He. We wasted that question because he's gonna just answer with bullshit. Ask about the boys. Specifically, season three, episode one, the opening scene. Malfess. You want to ask about Malfess? I don't give a shit about the boys. Ask about Malfess. Yeah, why did his face turn into a, like a gaping anus? You know, we got fucking robbed on the the first question because you can clearly see he's not a regular human. Like, why even tell us, like, oh, you have three questions if he's just gonna fucking lie? He just lied. Like, why is he fucking... What's, like, what's the point? Who cares? Oh, shit. Fecal raid. Wow, it's late for a fecal raid. Holy shit. Man, thank you, man. You doing good, buddy? I don't know, uh, Joel, I think you left last night, but I ended up playing your, your fucking Beat That Pussy Up song. It was fucking terrible. Soul Sage, thank you for a full year of, of subbage. Joel is sleepy. He's sleepy. He's a, he's a sleepy man. Guys, thanks for being here. Um, well, thanks for coming from, from Joel. And then probably immediately leaving to pass out because it's fucking 2.30 a.m. But hey... Joel, if you're hearing this, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. It's 7 a.m. in Sweden. What is this? What is this man doing? What? What is? What is, it? What is his? What is this man's fucking sleep schedule? You know what? You would have a fucked up sleep schedule too, if like you had like one hour of sunlight every six months or whatever the fuck is happening over there. The pot calling the kettle black. That's valid. That's that. No, that's that's extremely valid. And I I think his is probably worse because of that. Right. I said, what do you do for vitamin D, Joel? What do you do for vitamin D? He was like, there's this this guy, um. In town, you go go into town like once a week, and he sells you this white goo. That's a really good vitamin D su supplement. Everybody takes, you take like a little shot and you're fucking set. It instantly cures any kind of depression. If you have any like, you know, if you're sad because you, you don't have any sunlight, po like seasonal depression or whatever, you take one little, one little slurp of Pappy D's D cream and it makes, makes it all better. It goes away. Pappy did the goo guy. Every 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 town in Sweden has a goo guy. Goo guy's recommendation. And then he said, "Get a clue." Is it called butter's cream? No, what's butter's cream? Not just butter. It was the goo dealer. Got to get me some of that goo. Geez, here. <laughs> Joel, back me up about the goo guy who cures your se seasonal depression with his homemade hand-churned goo. Am I liking the faith game? Yeah, no. The, the first two chapters were amazing, and this one's even better. This is fucking... No, I'm, I'm loving it, man. You've, you've seen this before, I, I take it. Um, Joel, by the way... um. I announced earlier tonight about uh, what's happening at the end of this month. The 25th uh, and the 26th. No, it was the 26th and the 27th. It's, sa it's a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, That we're doing for November. We're going to do another charity drive. Another um, 
stream of conscience charity drive. Do you want to tell them what you have planned? Or do you want it to be like, do you want to just be like hyped, hyped up? You want to just hype it? Or you just want to be, you want to be like, like cheeky about it. He says that the sun goes down at 4 p.m., right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, like that, that happens here. Like that, I think like 5 p.m. is the earliest. All right, Joel, he dropped the details. Um, he's going to stream Pong for 20 minutes and then fall asleep afterwards. And guys, let me tell you something. That's going to be the best 20 minutes of your life. Guys, it's heavily modded uh, Pong. It's randomized. It's got some corruptions on it. And they got games repainted, came out of retirement to repaint Pong for Joel. It's going to be fucking crazy, dude. It's going to be out of control. Oh, yeah, they did the sex mod. They gave the Pong ball big, fat, juicy tits. So the little ball has like tits. It's harder to hit. You got to like think about the angles differently because it has, it has big, big hunk honkers, big honkers. Here's the truth. The truth is he's going to do another vine wrestle. He's going to do another vine wrestle. And there's a rumor about a, a guest commentator. Could be anybody. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. Might be Markiplier. Who knows? Might be a naked Markiplier. Could be Miku. Could be Miku. I don't know. Rowdy Roddy Piper. What if it is is Joel <laughs> Joel allowed the the, the winner of, of the last vine wrestle to commentate to commentate on the next vine wrestle? And he was like, That's right, chat, here he is! The nothing that beat Mike! And he just has the fucking like it's just he, it's just silence. And somebody he'll just sit there and talk to silence like a fucking insane person and just ask it things and like respond to it like it's speaking to him and it's absolutely fucking nothing. Or even better, the bag of chips. Like occasionally he just, he just like fucking like crinkles a bag of chips. He just crinkles the bag of chips next to the microphone. It's going to be James Rolfe. He said it's going to be Fred Figglehorn. <laughs> he said he's going to get... He, he is going to get me to, to co commentate, but then he's going to just mute me the whole time. And you guys have to not tell me, okay? Joel prefers chips to candy for Halloween. Joel likes when he walks up to, you know, somebody's house. He rings the doorbell. And he says, trick or treat, get a clue. And they give him like a single potato chip, like not in the bag. Like it had some gross fuckers like fingers all over it. Like just, or, or, you know, they have the bowls out and it's just chips that like everybody else's fingers have been in the, have been in the chips. He likes that. For dinner, for a snack, whatever, it don't matter. In Sweden... People like knock on the door. This is the tradition. They say trick or treat, and then the guy opens the door and puts the candy like directly in your mouth. But you have to close your eyes. Like it could, it might not be candy. Like it might be like a dead fish or whatever, like a rock, like a, like a fermented fish or whatever, or whatever, or like some just just, just like a like a, just a rock of salt, you know, or like something really fucked up. Uh, sometimes it can be like, like rotten, you know, like rotten fermented food, like a, a, a single potato chip. You just don't know. You close, you have to close your eyes and just open your mouth and let the person like put whatever it is directly into your mouth. An entire potato, an entire copy of, of, of doom, right? Real, real unsanitary, man. Real unsanitary. Are you a bowl man with your hand when eating chips or are you a selective picker? 
Sometimes the chips look like, you know, when they're like brown and fucked up, they're like burned and they look fucked up and they, or they, they have like impurities in them. There's like, there's like spots in them or whatever. I won't eat those. I'm selective. I'll like break the chip and I'll eat like the good part of the chip. I like those. Guess what? That's carcinogens. You're eating carcinogens. That's what that is. You're wasting the... Have you ever gotten a green chip? That's when they cooked like a raw... A raw potato, basically, right? I love how completely unwilling Mike is to learn to multitask commentary and gameplay. I love when your mom chugs my balls like it's mother's milk. And like, actually, it's amazing because she actually tries to fit her... She tries to fit my balls like down her throat. Like, she tries to swallow the whole ball sack. It's actually fucking awesome. It feels so good. Like, she just, like... She's, like, chugs them. Like, she literally chugs chugs balls. Like, it's fucking... Honestly, best. Like, is she, like, a professional porn star? Or, like, what's going on there? Like, where did she learn how to do that? Like, what the fuck, bro? There's no way like a, like a 68 year old woman should like just know how to, how to do that unless she's had like that many years of experience, bro. Like I was just insane. Like literally chugged ball. Like if you if you hear, hear people say that all the time, right? Like chug balls. And you're like that's 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 silly. Like how does one chug balls? Well, I'm telling you it's possible. And this guy's mom does it like all the time. What was your was your mother by any chance married to to Ronald Reagan? She got tips from the throat goat. <laughs> Mike mimics fellatio while John and Gary watch in silence. <laughs> yeah, Gary's like, "You done yet? I don't you are done yet." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't just roast this person. You left them a smoldering pile of ash. They're going to be okay, guys. They're going to they're going to be okay. Right? They put little morsels in your mouth. They put little mor morsels in when you're trick or treating in, in Sweden, they give you they give you morsels. Did you hear about the new kind of meat? The lab grown meat? It's this new company. They're trying to make lab-grown meat that's, like, not based on any, like, actual... Like, they're not trying to mimic pork. They're not trying to mimic chicken or anything or beef. They're, they're making, like, their own meat. Like, it's going to be its own thing, its own taste. It's not based on any real world. Like, they're making, like, fantasy meats, basically. Like, you could be like, hey, look, this is griffin meat, bro. But Why? Because it's going to make the best tasting meat. Like they're going to make a meat that tastes better than anything that you've ever experienced. The name of the company is Morsel. Yeah, isn't that the... isn't <laughs> Mike, that exists. It's called Subway's Tuna Fish. <laughs> yeah. Finally, delicious rare creatures. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Could be anything. You just have no idea. They were talking about like using dinosaur bones to, to, to fucking make like dinosaur meat or like using like extinct animal DNA. Like we could have like mammoth steaks and shit. I'm telling you, it's going to be fucking wild, dude. It's going to be wild. All right. I'll, I'll play the fucking game. McRib. It's going to be like the McRib. We're going to ask about the second death because frankly, I don't give a shit about Amy and I never did. What? That was my three questions. Hold up. Because 
the boss fight. That's why. That's why they were at the. the oh, okay, so so you're supposed to. You cut a hole like you cut their face out. You like take their face off. Sorry, John Travolta. You to cut their fucking face out. And Nicolas Cage. You take their face. You oh, look, all right. So 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 you cut their face off, and then you put a baby in side the, their face. Okay, what about your skull being there? Wouldn't that prevent that? Because there's skull underneath your face. There's there's fucking skull there. You cut that out. The skull come off. So you make a... A, a, a fucking... Now I am going to fucking overthink it. Because I just spent like fucking 12 hours playing through this entire game. I am going to overthink it. Okay? So they cut out like a chunk of the skull too. And then there's like stuff back there. There's the tongue... There's there's eyeballs, there's brain, you gotta take all that out too. That how baby work? How was bad that's how bad be formed? Bad be formed. They core out your head. It's a portal. No motherfucker. This is how you make the portal, guys. What do you like? You guys have like listening comprehension issues? That's how you make the portal. You cut out the fucking face, and then you put the baby in, in, in the face hole. That's how you make the portal. It's not that there's a portal in, in their head, guys. And Gardy. Well, that sounds unpleasant, huh? Dude, is this just Undertale? Dude, I'm slow. He slows you. Oh, that's fucked, bro. Reign of spiders. Uh, that, that's a meme, huh? Oh, I almost got stabbed. Oh, fuck my ass. You could drop the crucifix. He's really going to say that every time, huh? He threw it at nobody. He threw it to himself. The slowing you is is poppycock, dude. You gotta pick it up, John. I can't believe that you don't get outright killed. I can't believe you basically like have a hit point. Like you're fuck like you're Sonic the Hedgehog and you're dropping rings. Well the character is blue. That's a lot more spiders this time, guys. Oh, Also, I think I saw John chow chowing down on shit in the bathroom before. John the Hedgehog, bro? What's that? Dude, what what is that? What are you talking about? Oh no. I I I don't I don't survive this. That sucks. 
Well, I, I didn't expect it to be that easy. More tits. Oh, you can't touch the edges. Holy shit. Does he, like, contact damage you? Like, will he just run up to me and, like, and go in me with that... With the pitchfork? With the trident? Whatever the fuck it is. Because if he doesn't, that... Is, like, one less thing I have to worry about. Oh, get out of here. A deer? Oh, I almost fell for that like an asshole. Please. Why did that thing like go away when I took damage? What in God's name is that, dude? Um... Um, yeah? Really? This is gonna be really hard, isn't it? John has a phobia of clowns. That's true, I remember that. They say he had cholrophobia in his file. Was that a f big clown, motherfucker? Dude, it was like a clown kraken. I'm still I'm still so proud of that that clown kraken. It's a giant juggalo. Snaked? John got snaked, bro. Dude, he never did rain of spiders in the last attempt. power of Christ come pels you. I must have been getting like pretty close to killing him because there was like a thousand spiders on the screen the last time the, the first attempt. Oh fuck that. Doesn't really look like a oh it does look like a clown I see it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. John, please. John, please. Please, John. Oh, holy fuck, how? You gotta be kidding me. The deer? John! John, please. Yeah, I did mic it. I, I feel like we're gonna be here for like hours. You moved away. He, I got, I like freaked out. I don't know, I choked. Hey, can we get some more spiders in, in here, Gary? Can we get some more spiders in here? I don't think there's enough spiders in here, bro. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I really think we need more spiders. Gary. Gary, please. There we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Looks like the forecast is calling for some more spiders, John. Hope you packed an umbrella. And some spider cream. Oh my god. Yep. You just stood there. Sh shut up! Clown time. Oh! 
I walked into it like a jerk off. It doesn't matter. It probably allowed me to actually kill him because I could do more damage to him on account of it. Garcia? With the shotgun? Dude, it kind of... It's kind of like we should have had a gun from the beginning. Like, could I have just done that to all to all the demons? Like, could I? Because I mean, like, if you could just shoot Gary in the face with a shotgun, I'm pretty sure I could have did it to all of the less the lesser demons. Mike, you had a gun, but it only had one bullet. Remember? And we only had one bullet. John is a poor priest. He can only afford one bullet. The Catholic Church has no money, guys. The Catholic Church is broke. John could only have one, one, one bullet. I don't know how Garcia got his bullets. That is a penis, by the way, on that, whatever that thing is. Look on the left side of that floating thing. That's like a penis and, and balls. Okay, Garcia, thank you. So I guess, like, that's pretty solid confirmation that my theory about Gary being Garcia um, wasn't accurate. I mean, may maybe, like, there's still a shred of possibility that, um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a, a you know, a, a trick of the, of the mind. It's just the trick of the mind. You know what I mean? Like a little, like Garcia shot himself with the shotgun. That could happen. Why not? You think that can't happen? I do remember the fire advice. This is when I'm going to need it. The crucible. What is it? What is, what, what, where, like, where am I? What is it? March 18th, 1934. Miriam is ready. We will perform the ritual according to her instructions tonight. Um, next day. We successfully gave the second death to Miriam. We have been passing living newborns through the newly made portal as quickly as we can get them. So far, there has been no response from the other side. So once you have this portal, you're just cramming babies through it because whatever is on the other side is like, you know, enjoying that. Right? Slam dunking babies into hell. Um, uh, next day. After uh, several days later. Uh, after several days of sacrifices, we finally got a response a tiny hand reached out from the portal. We took the hand and pulled out a baby boy. It appears to be a normal human baby, just like you and me. We named it Gary. So what the fuck is the crucible? Like what like it, it's it's just like another sub basement? Such undertale vibes right now. Gary loves you. Gary is a normal human being, just like you and me. Okay, we've seen evidence to the contrary here. It's like somebody's house, dude. Yeah, it's it's a house. The crucible is a house. The Crucible is John's house? Is Amy's house? Which house do you write? I'm, I'm too stupid. It's the same... It's the same fucking... No, no, dude. Yeah, this is... Okay, this is Amy's house. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay. 
There's the meme mirror, right? Yo, this Isaac mod looks sick. The home. I mean, probably we got to go to the basement. You know, this is the site where John... John is going to have to face the, the, the... His biggest failure, basically, right? Like the thing that he regrets the most, or whatever. He regrets not being able to, like, save Amy. That That's why this place looks like this. Check the bathroom. I don't remember there being a door up in the bathroom over here. Mike, the duck is gone. Mike, the rubber ducky is gone, sweat frog. Let me guess, it's going to say, I don't remember Futher. He doesn't remember Futher. Totally forgot Futher. Futher forgotten. Look, all I know is Gary is a normal human being just like you and me, okay? Mike, how do you feel about possums? Love them. Well, shit. W was there anything in the basement? I mean, it I can't go back now. It was Amy. That's just fucking mean. Well, that's just fucked up. What? What? That's just not right, man. I mean, Gary doesn't like get. That's just cruel, man. This guy's just a dick now. Like it's beyond him being evil and for the Antichrist. He's just a dick, man. You know. Stop, drop, and roll, baby. Whoops. I guess Gary really didn't love me. You just burned to death. They told me I had to be on fire. In order to, um... Kill Gary or some shit. Wow. Yo, Gary's quick when he wants to be. Not yet. Uh, alright. Uh, alright. So we just gotta kill Gary. When Gary watches you walk into the fire, he just- they speed him up because it's like... Oh, dude. Gary, please. Gary, please. He's like a huge, nasty baby. Yeah. He does a little char- a little charge. When he stops, he's gonna charge you. Fuck, he does it to- Oh my god, he's like an Isaac boss.
I don't understand these like solid pentagrams on the ground that block your movement. It's gonna be bad. When he jiggles like that, he's open. Right? Yeah, you could put a pentagram on the wall where I can't even fucking come. You can walk into them, it's okay. Yeah, but you can't- they, they just like- they block you. Well, that was anticlimactic. What a fucked up thing to say, man. <laughs> really, like... How does Gary feel about me? Does Gary like me? Does Gary like like me? That's so stupid. He hates him. Gary's a slippery little bitch, huh? There's too many of these. This is, get out of here, come on. He deletes them when he walks through them. That's bullshit, dude. I love this music. <sighs> Gary, I just did something nasty to your mom. Oh, that's not his mom, right? Well, who is that then? That is, no, that is his, his, his mother. That's his OG mother, it is. Oh no. I'm fucked. What is he doing? He's in beast mode. He's in sicko mode. Oh, dude. What's this? What is that? What the fuck is that, man? What is that? Get out of here! It's Malthus? Dude, Malthus is bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm fucked. What the fuck? What? Come on. Are we looking up the ending on YouTube, chat? Be real with me. Vinny beat this. That means that you can. Vinny is a gamer. And also, I bet you Vinny didn't have to shit as bad as I do right now. It's bad. In fact, Vinny never has to shit on account of his fucking Razor brand RGB gamer diapers. Which he just gets to have, by the way. They send them to him for free for marketing purposes.
I'm fucked. That's why they call him the diaper chief. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to actually, like, pause this game to poop and then come back and fight this guy at 4 a.m., dude. Oh god, he's doing the thing again. So there's... Malthus comes out, and then there's actually gonna be a third... A third fella? Guys, this is brutal. Chad is fervently trying to manifest a... An accident? They're fervently trying to manifest me shitting myself? They think that's funny? I think that's immature. Especially because it's working. Oh my god, it's working. Please stop. Don't shit yourself, 3 a.m. challenge. I just want to beat this guy and then I'll, I'll feel like I earned the shit. You know what I mean? If I just do a BRB and then I, like, I don't know, it'll feel cheap. Like, I didn't earn that, that poop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta earn the poop. Hell Whiskers, thanks for, um, they give sub, man. To poop your pants. Poop your pants and have sex. God damn you, Gary. God fucking damn you to hell, Gary. Gary! I'm dead. Anybody got any tips that don't involve poop? Might just go poop. You're not listening to me. I, f I need to earn it. If I just go right now, it's going to feel like I didn't earn it. It's not going to be earned. You guys don't understand the shit economy. That's because you're all Zoomers and you didn't live through the hard times. Okay, I do. I know what the value is of a hard-earned shit. Okay, you guys don't get it. And you never will. I'm gonna be so constipated. I've been prairie dogging this for like an hour, guys. That is fucking nonsense. That is actual nonsense, dude. He has two lunges. One that lunges towards you. The other one that goes all across the screen. If he waits longer... If he's doing the long one where he goes across the screen. When he zooms crazy, he never touched the top or bottom. What does that mean? I'm fucking dead. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Gary, you piece of shit. He's such a piece of shit. Gary, please. Gary, please don't do this, Gary. Gary, no. Gary, your mother's a whore, Gary. 
She's a whore with the big hole in her face, Gary. Oh no. There's too much shit in the way. Holy shit. Oh. Oh man, there's poop. There's poop coming out. There's a little bit of poop coming out. I'm dead. Gary, please. Gary, don't be like this, Gary. Gary! Oh. oh. There's too many pentagrams. Okay, phase two. Can you kill Malthus? Yes, Dave, I'm turtling. I'm turtling fiercely. Because, okay, kill Malthus or focus on Gary? Focus on Gary, they share health. They share health. So I can't, like, eliminate Malthus and I don't have to worry about him anymore. Like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work like that, right? What happens if one of those arrows hits me, Mortis? Dude? I mean, we had that one fight with, like, the, the crucifix dropping bullshit. I'm fucking dead. Gary, no. Gary, don't do it. Gary, please. Oh, Gary, you cocksucker, Gary. Gary, you fucking piece of shit. Gary, you such a piece of shit, Gary. Oh! Such a scumbag, bro. That's fucking garbage! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? What was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? What the fuck was I gonna do? Go, go, go the other way? I was dead. That needed to not happen. That's what needed to happen. Play better. Are you fucking- Fuck you! Come on! That's a fuck- that, That's a bait comment. Please. Mike, switch to charge blade. Yo, Gary fucking sucks. Holy shit. If anybody asks me about this game, I'm gonna say play up to Gary and then and then stop. Hell whiskers, thank you for the gift sub to turn in your pants. I like how this guy is like sp giving me money to like f fucking try to make me shit myself. Like, he's, like, actively spending money. I suppose you could try leading Gary through the pentagrams to clear the... I mean, I got fucking cornered. Like, I was between Gary and the pentagram. Like, what do you want? Like, of course, like, of course I can do that. I mean, I, I know I've, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. John just moves too slow, Frank. Frankly, John just... He's too slow, dude. Apparently, Erdorf plans to make this fight easier. No. Don't cave to the game journalist, Erdorf. And the, and the fucking baby rage streamers. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 2 on easy mode. Stick with your vision. You know what? He should get fucking stuck on the pentagrams, too.
Fuck it. Make it harder. Make it harder. <laughs> Make it harder. Fuck them. There's apparently a third phase I haven't even seen yet. Am I right? When he does the lunge directly at you, he will stop where you are when he does the lunge. No matter how far away it is, right? right. Oh, look at this. The f third phase is when you brap your colon out. It'd be better if you switch to a controller. Stop it. No. No. Gary. Gary, don't be like this. Baby, please. I was afraid he was going to corner me. I was afraid he was going to corner me. If I just went left, he would have cornered me. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid I was going to get cornered. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll be faster than the arrow. I'll be able to get below the arrow before it hits me. I'll be able to... I'll be able to do, to do that. I just noticed how crispy and high-def Mike is. The camera looks good. You can hit either demon in part two to end the fight or both at once to end it faster. Target Malphus in phase two. Not look at this. I mean like I haven't really tried that yet. So maybe we should try to target Malph. I just ignore Gary. We can't ignore Gary, but I'm gonna have a compacted colon like fucking Elvis by the end of this fight, dude. I'm gonna be like Elvis fucking Presley, bro. You know about Elvis Presley? And his colon? The king of rock and roll? And his compacted colon? Eat shit, Gary. Eat shit. I wasn't able to compel him. Look at this! Well, that's fucking awesome. Good for you, Gary. Good for you. Good for you, Gary. Good for you, Gary. Gary! Gary, you cocksucker! So those, are those random? Are those like legitimately random where those get placed? So here's what it is. I think you, you, you can't stay up his ass. You always got to be like, like, like a couple feet away from him. You're kidding me. You're getting incredibly unlucky. Hell Whiskers, thank you for the gifts up to shit, Mike. Dude. Gary, fucking die, bro. Okay, so here's what we're gonna we're gonna try targeting uh map ma whatever his fucking name is. Mappy. Yep, I'm a penis. Gary, your mother sucks cocks in hell. You walked into it again. I was there. I know what happened. 
Like, you think I'm deliberately walking into the projectiles, or do you think it's just hard? I think it's probably just hard, guys. I'm going to shit. While I'm shitting, please check out my fucking... My shit. Okay, check out my YouTube channels and my other stuff. The link's in the chat, please. Okay. At least, at least, check that out. Guys, good news. Um, I held in the poop so long that it, like, went away. So, problem solved, guys. It kind of, like, dude, it retreated. Like, you, you fight it so, for long enough, it basically retreats, and you win. Like, you just have to hold out long enough to get it to retreat. It got absorbed into my bloodstream. Whatever. The point is, it's gone, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now I can get back to playing video games the way God intended. Shit retained. <laughs> we got any shit retainers in the chat tonight? The most based people on the internet? Shit retainers. So best. The king shit retainers. No nut November? Guys, how about no shit November? Starting right now. No shit November. What do you think, guys? No shit November. What is, is there a word like that? It's like something snappier we could come up with? Maybe we got to do a different month, like September. Like, no shit September? Sounds fucking red. Sounds so red. Stop shitting September. Yeah, dick. 
Don't defecate December. <laughs> No defecate. <laughs> no, don't defecate December. They're, they're <laughs> that's so good. Why is that so good? Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Or don't duty December. Don't duty. Fuck you, Gary. Fuck you. I hate Gary. I hate Gary so much. Now nah, the feeling is mutual, Gary. I don't love you either. How is he walking? He like crawls on his stomach? God, I hate everything about him. I hate his stupid face. I hate his stupid bones, stupid eyes. I hate all of, all of his pic- all... 48 of his pixels. I hate him. God, what a fucking sound that is. That sound is a mood, man. Oh, thank God he went the other way. Cause here's what I'm thinking, right? You want to stay on the other side of the room for Malfast. Why? Because the arrows like fan out and give you more room to dodge. If you're up his ass, then you're good. They're gonna be all clustered together, and you're definitely gonna take damage, right? Dude, fuck you. Gary, you fucking cocksucker. Wow, what a scum. He's such a scumbag, this Gary. He's scum. Fuck yeah. Maybe the poop... Maybe the poop had to come out? Dude, it's not over. Congratulations! Oh. Japed. Holy shit, the banger. That was a cute little jape. Holy fuck, bro. God, take this cup from me. This abomination's power is too great. Dude, it's literally a fucking Undertale fight. It uh, is actually an Undertale fight. I don't know how I'm not dead, by the way. And yet, it is not the end. I have HP, I guess, in this fight? Perhaps some divine intervention at last? Ooh, hold up. That looks bad, huh? Dude, it is it, it's an Undertale fight. It's like an Undertale fight. I I love it. Made some bad moves here. Made some bad decisions here. Lord, I feel thou art with me. God, those skulls move in some really unpredictable ways, man. Wow. I wonder why I'm not fucking dying. You know what? Because I batched? 
got because Jeep Jeebus? Now, I think this was the bitch where we were supposed to do the thing where I was supposed to light myself on fire, essentially. The, uh, stand in the fire after she splits. That exploded next to me. It's just kind of weird that I'm not dying. Like, I don't know what the, what the praying thing is. That was when I was supposed to set myself on fire, but did you notice I walked into it and never and never became on fire? Mike did? Guys, I walked into the fire and I didn't set I I was slamming my face into the fire. I absolutely did touch it. There were no pixels. I was against it completely. You have to touch the side and not the top. How many times before? Did I touch the fucking top of it accidentally and, 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 and end up on fire? Shut up. I guess it's okay because you kind of can't die here. Doesn't seem to be a thing. Man, that, his face ain't looking too good, huh? Oh, there it is. Wow, look how easy it is to get set on fire. I, I, now? I can't even go near it. I can't even be any, I, I didn't touch it. I was just near it and I en was engulfed in flames. The gray creature grabbed you a pixel before you could get in the fu- I was against the, the, the torch. She spit- split in a bad spot and the ghost blocked you. Should have retained that feces. Oh, she split in a bad spot, huh? That's what that's what happened. Okay. So what is it? You, you set your character on fire and then you go touch the spirit in the middle and and then you win. That's that was that was the only thing that that was stopping me from beating this. Okay. When Gary triple lunges, he can't go near the torches or the chair. 
He just did four lunges, bro. Is that what this is? This is a chair with his his mother is tied up in a chair. I am s one death away from looking up this ending on YouTube, unironically. Like that was that was just I don't know, that was silly. That was very silly to me. Yeah, we're gonna look we're gonna look it up on YouTube, guys. That that was just that wasn't cool. Yeah, that was that was just fuck like come on man. Like what? Are you you kid you're kidding me, right? Like It it's very late, guys. It, it's 3 30 a.m. And now again I, I I, I can't be anywhere near the the, the fire. Like again, I'm, I was I was like three feet away from it, and I burst into flames. Socrates, thank you for ten months, bud. Come back to it tomorrow. I I, I beat it now, or I don't beat it. I'm not coming back to it tomorrow. I've got other things to stream. Inner Agent 3 moment. I don't think there was a moment like that with Inner Agent 3 where it just... Where it was like that gross. One of the things... I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Splatoon 3... Is this is this harder? Well, it, it, it in in a different way, Wisp. In a different way. Splatoon two was was ab absolute fucking trash with Inner Agent three because I want you to understand something that I made it to X rank in all of the all four ranked modes of that game. That was the highest rank you could achieve in multiplayer in that game. But I still couldn't beat that inner agent three. That that was that was stupid. That was that was too too hard. That was too hard. That was like silly. Like that was asinine. Like what are you talking about? Like how how can you get the fucking That's like being a fucking you know, you know like platinum rank in like Valorant, but you can't beat the single player or something. Like, are you fucking kidding? What? No, that should not be a thing. What are you talking about? And yes, it was it was a hidden boss, but like, come on. Inner Asian three was was garbage. Plat people are laughing. I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking play Valorant. You know what I'm trying to say. It's like being like a, like a fucking top Call of Duty player and you can't beat the fucking single player campaign. Is that a joke? Like, what are you talking about? What? I'm dead? I'm dead. I'm, I'm cornered. Good l lucky Gary's fat fucking head deleted that thing. See, again, the strategy was to try to stay as far away from Malfest as, as possible. Uh, if he's gonna fucking land on top of you, then you're beat, right?
Oh, that was fucked up, bro. So this, this boss fight is optional, um, it looks like someone is saying in chat. It isn't. Alright, then that person should shut up. Not for the true end. It's optional or it's not? Not difficult. Not a difficult thing, guys. So it's, I'm going for a certain ending. If you don't want this ending, then you don't have to fight this boss, okay? Well, I, I'm locked into the path because of the things that I did. This is apparently the only ending that's going to be, like, g good. Dude. Dude. I think you can tell all the enthusiasm I had for this game is like gone now. I don't know what 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 could they do to fix this? Like make him have less HP or or I think honestly like like fixing the fires might even do it like just making those fires have a more distinct hitbox a more distinct and consist consistent hitbox Make your character slightly quicker well, they can't do that well, then they have to make them quicker for like the whole game You could also put a checkpoint after I would say after the second phase They can't make him quicker, because I, I think that would then be, like, too easy if they did that. Mike, what'll happen is right before the fight, your character finds a box uh, with, with Air Jordans in them. What's he doing? He's pulling a Gary, guys. He's pulling a Gary, guys. He's pulling a fucking Gary. You never want to pull a Gary, chat. Yeah, stay far the fuck away from the fires, huh? Why 
What if one of those arrows hit me? Gotta get a little bit of, I don't know, Jesus residue on her. Here we fucking go. Just getting some Jesus particles on this bitch. I mean, what else is it? Like, they're just looking at the cross is hurting them? No, there's got to be some transference of matter. It's the only thing that makes sense. Dude. Okay. Come on. So you get you get ten hit points basically. So like ten lines of, of prayer. That's fucking nonsense. Get out of here. She's going to do a dive across the screen. It's very similar to Undertale in that way. And, and, oh, here we go. So here's what you do. You do that. And you just slant. This could have ended it like an hour ago. That was it. That was literally it. Something's got to get looked at. Something's got to get looked at in that fight. Somebody earlier they said they said Elden Ring moment, and it was very similar to Elden Ring because what I it was it was like, dude, it was four a.m. I was fighting a fucking boss that was like obnoxious. I fought him like ninety times. It took me like an hour and forty-five minutes to kill that motherfucker. This is an extremely similar incident as as the Elden, the end of Elden Ring, yeah. No one called you a moron, though. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna have to take a Mundus for my fucking constipation. Okay, shut up. Gary just got on birthed, bro. Failure. Oh, her face just comes back. Amy, I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. <laughs> She said, Coom. That was the thing he said in the beginning of the first chapter. Remember that? Remember? And finish what you started. You can use the cross now. Oh, thanks. 
I was just confused because like now John's red. I'm so happy the game put that there. Oh, uh, he got he got some closure. Game journalist moment. I was trying to move. But I didn't press space. I was trying to walk around. I was like, hmm, I can't, can I move or... Yo, d yeah, how did all the cops die? Garcia shot all the cops? <laughs> World is a fuck yes. born to die? There's gonna be like a spin-off of Garcia, like... Doing whatever he was doing while John was doing that. All is well, that ends well. Yeah. I still have so many questions. I need to figure out this out or I'll never be able to rest. Then let's figure it out together. Oh. Well. Lisa, if I go with Lisa, that's maybe like sex. But if I go with Garcia, then that's gay sex. So maybe we should go with Garcia, guys. What do you think? Bros before hoes? Dude. In the spirit of No Nut November and bros before hoes, I think we should go with Garcia, okay? I think that's the way to go. We're gonna go with Garcia. I'm- okay, I, I, I'm supposed to be a priest, alright? You're not supposed to, like, have sex anyway. I have a vow of obst uh, uh, abstinence. I was gonna say obstinence? Abstinence. Alright, we're gonna go with Garcia, guys. It's like the meme. It's like the meme. You know the meme? Eat shit, Lisa. What happens if you let Lisa die in that one? You probably don't get this entire ending if you let Lisa die. Dude, Michael in the back seat. Let's go. You son of a bitch, I'm in. This just happens and you don't get... Mike, if you let Lisa die, a Lisa dies in IRL. There's Tor Torpal Duke. That's the guy that knows Joel. Right. Steven Swir Swirsky. YouTube the Lisa ending. I okay, just tell me what just tell me what happens. Chase Hardy. Sounds like a Kojima character. If you leave with Lisa, uh, that's pretty much it. They just hold. If Lisa dies, Garcia holds you at gunpoint. So this was like the much harder ending to get, basically. Mike, if she doesn't die, she inflates herself just like a balloon and then sticks her arms out just for you. Okay, guys. Do you want to go see Vinny's name chat? <laughs> Let's go see Vinny's name, guys. <laughs> Yeah. What's going to be like special thanks? Yeah, uh so Vinny streamed the chapter 1 um when it was still a demo, right? Like he streamed the demo of chapter 1 one night and apparently 
the dev really appreciated it because it got a lot of people. It sent a lot of people to the Kickstarter. Is that what it was? There was a Kickstarter. Oh, there he is, Vinny. Look, special thanks, Vinny. He got a lot of eyes on the on the game. It wasn't it wasn't specifically a Kickstarter thing, right? Isn't it nice for when somebody says, it's Vinny, for it to be the actual Vinny for once? I don't know your Daffy pals. All right, I know you don't know my Daffy pals, but... That would have been in, like, 2017, right? Because that was when the, the first chapter you said came out, 2017. Check out the backgrounds. Oh, it would be under extras. Conjuration mode coming soon. What's that? It's just so we could see the art. Um, I think what's happening is the the per the, the name on the right is the is the artist. Is that what? Sutexi, pitch canker, pitch canker. Jenny Jennys. Oh, that's fucking cool. Look at that. Uh, Gary loves you. Gary doesn't love me. This one's from Lumpy. Yay! Lumpy. Oh, that's some awesome pixel art. That's beautiful. That's fucking cool. The crawling one got S. Hold up. It's like that Spider-Man comic cover, right? Yeah, this one's great. Love me some pixel art. Uh, a cornfield was relevant at one point. Chapter two, splash or none. Okay. Guys, like I said, tomorrow night, uh, th but th this game was um, amazing. Uh, just pretty much up until that final boss. Um, that final boss made me want to uh, ram a screwdriver into my dick hole. Straight up, straight up, straight up facts. That's what it made me want to do. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Made me want to just... Yep. That final boss it could use a tweak or two. Could use a couple of tweaks. Again, I think, I don't know. The, the fire, changing the hitbox on the fire? I don't know. Just a couple tweaks. Maybe even just a check. Yeah, just a checkpoint. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not the guy. I'm not the, the game guy. Um, I, I'm gonna be looking at the Buru for a few minutes. Uh, let's start with this one from Cozy. Is oh no 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 we we saw this already. My bad. Um, all right from Turtle Child. They made some tech issues art tonight. Uh, Mike's top three go-to responses to chat's tech issue tips. Okay. Um, number one, you don't know. Number two, you don't understand. And number one, you're not listening. Which is classic. Um, because they're never listening. They're never listening. So true, bestie. Love this turtle child. Thank you. Uh, and here's one from Wentz Monster. Of course, it's um, uh, Miku, Maiku, Meow, Meow indeed. Meow. Thank you. Very cute. 
Meow. Nyan? Nyan! Uh-huh, this is from, uh, Eresos. Check it out. It says, Choose your weapon, Michael. Do you choose the power of God, Italian sass, or your beloved weapon, cum? What do you mean, Italian sass? I don't have Italian sass. I have an Italian ass. Uh, I think that... I, I mean, the crucifix worked pretty good. Why, why mess with something that's working, right? Thank you for the cool gif. Uh, here's something from uh, Computer Stickman. They said, I love faith on God. That final boss killed me too. Uh, with some cool faith art. It's like you got the jo Father John screaming, Come at a creature. Uh, born in silly mode at me in, in the art style of the game, which is so cool. Um, ball gargling noises is happening here, right? Somebody, what was, what was the, oh, that guy's mom gargled balls, right? And while, while fucking, yeah, John and, uh, and Gary just look on, like, waiting for me to finish what I'm doing. And there's John saying he wants to go home now more than ever. This art rules, Computer Tech Man. Thank you. Computer Stick Man, excuse me. And uh, finally, it looks like there's a little something from Bubsy. Unfortunately, it's a video. Now, here's the deal. We typically don't watch videos unless they've been screened by a moderator. Um, so maybe we'll watch this video next time because I don't see typically, typically a moderator will, will mark that they've watched it indicating that it's safe for Twitch Terms of Service, but I'm not seeing that now, so we're not going to be watching the video. Uh, maybe we'll watch it next time, guys, but it is um, 4 a.m., so I'm going to I'm gonna end this stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Again, we're going to try to finish uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. I, I think maybe there's like a nice like five or six hours left in that game, so that'll be tomorrow night. Uh, could be... Could be... Um, a good time probably probably will be a, a moderate time to be had by all um so try to be there if you can make it um it's gonna i i can guarantee you a moderately decent time uh at the stream moderately okay time you won't hate it but maybe you won't love it it'll be a very a very mid experience all right um Love you all. Thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys real soon. Good night, everybody. Um, and don't forget to finish what you started. And vaya con Dios.